sorry. This is not what I intended, and yet everyone went for it. That's great. What were you trying to do? Lean on each other's uh, shoulders. Oh, that's sweet. I was going to go in on, you know, Kate, I'd lean on yeah. Kate. Yeah, exactly. Eh. Well, but we did some fist bumps instead, yeah. which is pretty great. Like, the rest is like, oh, I can crush you like earth. My biggest competition. Me. Me. <laughs> Me. Uh, Requiem with the incredibly hot take of, I fully expect a group hug when they can all play together in the same building. Oh, So whoa. hot. Such take. I mean, That's maybe real. we'll do the entire stream from a huddle. Huddle stream. Just one camera on the floor between us. We're all looking down into it. We're all in like a cuddle people. puddle. Look at this. Just like a oh. writhing mass of limbs. <laughs> I mean, and yeah, like road wireless goes, <laughs> one, yeah. yeah, one of those clouds of dust with like shit pop, popping out there. Arms. Yeah. The yeah. time is getting closer and closer. Although we don't know exactly when it will be, we do right. know that our our situation here uh, in one of the epicenters of the uh, pandemic is improving. Yes. Uh, which is gratifying for us, and hopefully soon we will all be. Uh, vaccinated to an appropriate degree and we will be able to uh, be in each other's presence again. Yay! Uh, yeah, Luke managed to catch up. Yeah! Incredible. Really Busted impressive. right through. <laughs> well, fudging done. And we've had some subs coming in as we started here, right? We've had Mongani dropping in and there was another sub earlier. Arivana! Uh, thanks, folks. Do we sound slightly muffled? This is Let a us know. It's it's honestly most of the time you're not, but sometimes your voices drop. Okay. I, I cool. think this is mostly because you are not in the same room as us, and that can make it difficult. <laughs> as yes, it always does. Notoriously difficult to like sound treat separate rooms <laughs> to the same degree. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, boy. I mean. The word sub coming in, I mean, sure, whatever. You you can, yeah, whatever you, you want to snicker all you like. You can snicker snack. Oh, snicker snack. Is that a Jabberwocky? That, that is a reference? Jabberwocky reference. Nice. Damn it, Kung Fu Fenris. It's actually more like Liz and Taint, but my fave! <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah. Plucky Ooh, Heroes pop popcorn ready if no, they're talking snacks. Ooh. Do you want to make popcorn after? <laughs> Reading my mind! <laughs> Get that coconut oil and the nutritional yeah. yeast busted out. Yes! We have a little spice mixture. Nutritional yeast based and then other, you know, various so chilling good. things in it. It's good. Mm. Yes. Delicious. Well, I didn't have milk and cookies, but I do have a big honking thing of water. So if Creative Chameleon shows up, you make sure to let her know that I am hydrating like a good champion. Like a troop. All right. Aragorn is uh, leaving behind the poke for some chicky sandwiches. <laughs> chicky Sammy is never, I, I've never heard that before. And I, I totally understand what it means, but I've never heard of it. It's great. It's great. Hey, Thank lemon you. eater. Lemon Thank eater. you. So appreciate it. Enjoy you. your sub baby. Mm -hmm. Is sub baby also make you snicker, Kung Fu Fenders? <laughs> sub Kung Fu Fenders. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Well, mm. I'll tell you what doesn't make me snicker is the excellent work that our mods put in, including she who knows. Whoa. 10,000 things. Erwin is here. Uh, here in spirit, if not virtually present, are Entropy's Disciple and Strength of Borders. Crosshair and Real Brick Wall will have to tune in another time. But they are still here. Still appreciated. Uh, and of course, we have the three of you. Hello, and Hi. you, which is, I would, I would say, equally important. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> be good. Oh, I see a choo-choo! 
Thank you for converting. And Ooh. a conversion from a Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. Very Thank much appreciated. You. We get so much more money for that. No, I'm no just kidding. we Thank don't, you. actually. <laughs> yeah, it makes really zero do. difference to us. It no, I know. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which is great, so thank mm -hmm. you. And Bezos is all like, mm. <laughs> God. Uh, Whoa. Luke, just uh, subs on mobile are more expensive because they go through the Play Store or the App Store, and those okay. stores take a cut. So if you are thinking about subscribing, it'll be cheaper online than oh. through a mobile. But also, it is okay. absolutely... Not there, required. Yeah, there is no... <laughs> Necessity towards hey storm koala. I know. Thank you, Lemonator, for gift and Thank you, Lemonator. So Yay! And some beats. Storm koala is is a friend of mine, actually. Oh. Uh, a like one of the coolest dudes, seriously, uh, that I know, who has an equally cool wife. Oh God! And, here it comes. <laughs> and a super cool kid. Hey, Aragwen. Aragwen, thank you. Wow, zers. And this got more oh. bits coming in. Everything's oh happening. Poof subbing. Oh my god, you guys spook everyone. Poop. Thank you. Oh, You're all gosh. going so fast. We can't even ask. Thank you all thank individually. Thank you so oh, much, This is folks. incredible. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, like, as far as, like, the naming convention of, like, adjective noun goes, I think I'm, I think I'm big, like, team Storm Koala. But now, after everybody's been giving subs, I am not so sure. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, oh my god, sub only chat. Here we go. Hey, what is Thank happening? You, oh my god. Did y'all like hey, call course, each here. other and be like, oh, it's time to just drop all the dollars? Wow. Oh, guys, we can't. They're looking forward to when we can be together us. again. Yeah. 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 So soon. And and we'll have to we'll have like once we're together again. We can do things that we've actually had in planning for our tech for so long that we just haven't been able to do. Yeah. Because we Whoa. were like, oh yeah, no, it's it's like what? October? Yeah, oh. this is four weeks in October. It's still October according to the <laughs> local uh, situation. Yeah. That's okay. I've been taking to the, to the Excel sheets and calculating uh, when we're probably going to all at least have one dose. So that's exciting. Which I say is worth the cheers. It was a final fight. <sighs> Yay. I mean, this is, this is great. Everyone is so being so supportive. Hey, this is also making me, I'm getting, I'm getting real nostalgia for those, um, uh, those long streams that we used to do. The marathon. Yeah, marathons. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm getting real nostalgia and I'm wondering when we're going to do another. There is, <laughs> I, I will say that there is a pretty close to zero chance that I'll want to do a marathon stream when we are not together. Oh, oh, oh that goes I, without oh, yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I doing that. that. I mean, like, <laughs> if a charity walked up and was like, we would like you to do this and here are the parameters, we're going to explain it all to you. I'd be like, okay, but like beyond someone doing all the work for us. Also, I do have to say that doing a marathon while we're still uh, so socially distant also means we're doing a marathon before we move. Uh, True. Which, you know, it's just, uh, yeah. there's a lot of... Shit a lot of do. stuff filed. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo <laughs> yeah, just boxes I see those behind boxes. Y'all are doing good. Yeah, it's going to work. We start. You, you can't see. It's fine. I we can't. started back there. It's fine. The shelf is more naked. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, now that we've had a, a whole shit ton of hype thrown at us, uh, any of you spend any experience? Any of you decide that this was a good idea just before you uh, end up rolling some battles? Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. I thought we were all on the same page about this one. Oh no. <laughs> okay. My bad. Yeah, the, and the same page was make Scott look bad. Apparently. Right. Of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is Eric going back? Yes. Got away with it. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! Oh shoot! Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I got uh, a martial arts charm, which I can use my dragon experience for. Pew pew! <gasps> oh uh, shit! So it's uh, unmoving mountain stance. Uh, attackers gain less initiative from me, uh, and uh, they can't physically move me with like a smash attack unless they deal a certain amount of damage. 
that's pretty strong. I love that. But yeah, you 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 don't give them as much initiative, right? You don't give them as much ground. I love that. I won't give you the satisfaction. You may have hit me, but it's not going to be that great for you. Uh. <laughs> that is a level four fist. hype train. That's level five. No, it's, it, it level four completed. Uh, now it's a, now it's on level five. Gotcha. Boy, still. Amazing. Yay. Uh, I went up to Larceny 3 and Linguistics 4. Ooh. 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 Now you can steal the books and read them. (laughs) Now I can steal victory from the jaws of defeat. That that would be great. Just learning, you know, those nimble fingers to to lift things away. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh what? my god. What? Yay. I can write a letter even harder now. Watch wow. yourselves. Aravana. Oh, Aravana, so, thank what you is so happening? Much. This is, I mean. And then Pook puts it over. Yes. As if. Oh, sorry. Wow. Thank you. Yay. Now remember, unless you donate some bits, you're not getting the hype train emote. That's okay. Oh, I've shit. got lots of emotes. And I don't have any bits. But are they good? Ah, are they? I don't know. I don't know. The most recent one I got, I didn't love, so. Okay. And yet, <laughs> I, love yet. To, I love to be a part of things, you know? <laughs> well, uh, if you want to be a part of things, one of the things you need to know is what happened in the past. And because of that, we do have a paper that is put out Every week, some surprisingly well-informed. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got some faculty facts here from Babbling Brook. Oh, faculty facts. Pelop Seven Fingers, the history teacher, may be best known around the school for his entirely normal number of fingers. But do you know he's faced the anathema in combat before? Closed mission reports show that he was once that he was one of the surviving members of a group that faced an anathema with mind-bending powers and even rescued school medic Venif Garavel during the hunt. His home-brewed liquor is also much more potable than its provenance and presentation would portend. Sinis Bracken, the librarian, is an enthusiast of literature as befits her position, but younger students may not know that she is more a master of games than our own game master. In addition to playing at a gateway board like an extension of her own thought, she ra- she's rarely far away when formal competitions and wagers are made. Needless to say, mm-hmm. she plays her cards close to her chest, but those who have seen her get serious say that the dragon's blessing alone could hardly cover her proficiency. Mm-hmm. Perhaps she is favored by a god of games? Family Brook is very well informed. <laughs> very well informed. Some good stuff here. Uh, heard in the hallways compiled by the Intel report staff, the lost hand goes to one class and they interrupt the lecture just to ask a personal er, personal questions. How have these people survived four years at a military academy? Bracken freaked the absolute redacted out today <laughs> and chased everyone out of the library. I've never seen her like that. Wouldn't want to be the idiot that got her that angry. Yeah. Flivien from the fifth year just got released from the infirmary today. We better start guarding <laughs> our plates at lunch again. <laughs> and of course... I know the faculty likes to say that if you admit when you break the rule, uh, whoa, I know the faculty likes to say that if you admit when you break the rules, the punishment won't be as bad. They're lying. They just want you to be closer when they start on you, so it takes less effort. Brilliant. Brilliante. <sighs> Look, wow. Babbling Brook it might be a sidereal. Who knows? Yep. <laughs> we don't know. We also, uh, we're, we're not sure if any of what we heard is true either, right? Like, and if Garabel might just be lying through his, oh sorry, not Garabel. Um, Seven Fingers might just be lying through his teeth, through his fingers, through his, <laughs> through all of his fingers that he hides. Makes sense. Yeah, for all of you, all of you. But hey, you know what isn't good to hide? What? Your feelings and comfort level. Yeah, <laughs> nice segue. Well done. Uh, okay. That was. That was we special. have a saying here at RPG Clinic, and that is use your word hole. Um, when that is not possible, use your card hole. So this is our um, safety system that we have in place uh, to make sure that our games are fun, but that we're all respecting each other's boundaries. 
Uh, you folks at home do not have cards, but you do have options, and we will get to that in a second. Green card, also known as the play card. You can show this card without interrupting the game to let everyone know that no matter what is happening in game, no matter how your character appears, you are great to keep going. You are enthusiastically consenting. The yellow card, also known as the pause card, is when you need to warn everyone about something important, especially if you're approaching a personal limit, use the pause card. Once you put it down, the game can continue. Then we have the red card, also known as the stop card. Use this card if you are not okay to keep playing. This halts the game immediately. Once a resolution is found and everyone feels okay to keep going, then the game can continue. You folks at home, these are the options uh, in place for you so that you can watch this game and feel as safe as possible. You can message your uh, our mods. We have Aragorn who is in the chat today. Uh, Aragorn will pass along your feedback anonymously if you so choose to us. You can also whisper RPG Clinic. That goes to John. Um, we'll of course try to take feedback and concerns into account, of course. Um, but the most important thing that you can do to keep yourself safe is if you are approaching your limit, you can stop watching. Uh, of course, it's sad to see you go, but it's more important that you keep yourself safe and that you monitor your own boundaries. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks. Folks. Thank you. Anything before we start? Uh, I always like to just check what just happened and make sure I didn't have questions, but I think, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Eating this. We're good. I remember being in a few fights when I was in high school, but once I got through high school, it stopped really being a thing. People, you know, jumping on each other, attacking them. Now, admittedly, I never attended a military academy. That wasn't really uh, in the cards for me. But I have to imagine that in a military academy, there isn't a whole lot of uh, unauthorized damaging of the military's assets, <laughs> as it were. So, as we progress in this, I will remind you that <sighs> violence is sometimes the only reasonable solution that unreasonable people can come up with. And it is sometimes the only unreasonable solution that reasonable people can employ. No matter what, we do have rules to adjudicate this sort of violence here. Make sure that you know the unwritten ones as well as the written. I asked for all of you to roll join battle, and I meant it. <laughs> I'm activating right, okay. my charm that I can use once we've been if we've been socializing and then break out into battle. Da 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 da. -da. We're a yellow dog right. attitude. Oh, what a oh a bulldog! I like that for Aresta, as like a you know a thing. What am I trying to say here? All right. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Spending moats have this. Fuck it. Looks great. And let's see for oh, good boy. old Bracken here. Good old Bracken. One more per die or... Wow. <sighs> You're sitting pretty at three. Oh boy. Sure glad I used that charm. <laughs> Did oh, nothing. no, Max, Max, I actually need that, buddy. Uh, All right. So, currently we have Aresta, who is at base initiative of three. We have Gale Whispered, who is piled all the way up to nine. Don't know why. <laughs> and Pyres catching up to Brevin at eight. I'll remember, oh, I'll remember. I'll remind everybody here that initiative is Good. your potential to do damage. Characters can steal initiative from each other as they progress through combat and then 
attempt to channel all of that initiative into a decisive attack. A decisive attack is the only kind of attack that will allow for you to do damage normally. Are we ready? Very okay, well. So the very first person who is going to act is, uh, well, actually, here, why don't you just give us a very brief rundown of what happened just before this combat was to begin? We were yeah. talking to Bracken in the library. We found out that she was a Sidereal, not a Sidereal, oh, uh, an exigent, exigent uh, chosen of games, more or less. Um, and uh, then Brevin showed up, Brevin showed up outside, was listening, came in, and has moved to attack Bracken. Uh, we also all have, uh, there's a charm activated by Gale that lets us sort of talk without others understanding us or hearing yeah. us. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it isn't bulldog, it was yellow dog. Wary, Wary yellow, yellow dog, dog. attitude. Oh, Sorry. Uh, it's a socialized term. That makes more sense. All right. <laughs> So the very first thing that's going to happen is uh, Brevin is going to stand up and she's just going to lift one of the boards. That Sorry, this is Bracken, John. You said Brevin. I'm sorry, just Bracken. Sure. Uh, Bracken. Confusing. <laughs> Bracken, yes. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Bracken stands up, lifts one of the boards, balances it on just the tips of her fingers like this, and then stares at Brevin and very calmly says... Don't be an absolute fool. And that's oh. it. Uh, <laughs> we move on now to Pyres. Go. Pyres. Um, I'm, I want to, I, once again, I want to end this as like as quickly as possible. Uh, and more specifically, I want to make sure that Revan can't get away before we've had a chance to talk to him. Uh, I'm going to draw hope and abandon. Um, I'm going to, uh, kick off a nearby chair to leap into the air. I'm going to come down on him with both hilts. Um, I'd like to stunt this to not do lethal damage, but I would like for it to be a decisive attack. Um, boom. To try to hit him and maybe forego some damage to do something funky with intimacies, possibly. So okay. as I'm leaping off the chair, I'm coming down towards him. I'm trying to uh, channel my anima to make myself seem you know, even more impressive than usual. How's that? <laughs> As you leap off a chair and move towards Brevin, uh, he is simply going to roundhouse kick one of the uh, bookshelf stacks oh so that it comes in between the two of you so that you can't make it there. Oh, them's fighting. That is a kick. <sighs> I've updated myself to glowing as well as I spend some per uh, peripheral essence uh, to leap in there. Um, uh, not so great in the library now that I think about it, but, you know, <laughs> both spent, right? Let's, let's That's okay. They there. treat every book with as best as before. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're pretty <laughs> immune to disease here. Go for it. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, let's see if it hits. What's the, what's the defense I'm aiming for here, John? Uh, his current defense is seven. I wish you luck. Thank you. A really tough roll. I only got four successes. So as I, yeah. I suppose as I come down, uh, he's he's deflected me with something you said. A roundhouse. Uh, he kick roundhouse kicked an entire uh, bookshelf stack. Oh well, bam! To, to uh, knock it directly in front of the two of you. Okay. Books tumble to the ground, and you hear a few pops as some of them start to. Uh, singe a little bit from your anima beginning to uh, bleed out. That toes to Gale, please. Um, I'm going to try to get out of this fray. Um, still clutching the letter from Juin to Bracken, I'd like to um, get to Bracken's office. So you're just Ideally. you're withdrawing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, no one is currently targeting you, so you are allowed to withdraw. However, that is going to cost you, uh, I believe it's two initiative. I believe so. For pulling I'm away. comfortable with this. Uh, that moves us down to uh, 
to Bracken. Or sorry, Brevin. Brevin is the, the next one on our list. Uh, Brevin, now seeing that you, uh, Pyres, has, have decided to go after him, looks up. I never took you for an enemy. Not until now. And he's going to, uh, in an attempt to get past you and get to his true target, uh, he is going to run past and merely take his elbow and shoulder it directly into your throat, pushing oh. you behind him as he leaps towards Bracken. All right, well, if this is an attack on me, I'm going to defend myself. Uh, as he's coming towards me to shoulder check me in the throat, uh, I want to just dip nimbly to the side, bring up hope uh, to, so that he hopefully catches his shoulder on the hilt as well, just to shock him a little bit, throw him off balance. I'd like to parry. Okay. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, woof. This all make it... Your defense is? Five. Uh, I score eight successes. Here we go. Oh so, boy. It's okay. I okay. I'm going in for something else. You don't have anything that uh, uh, I should know about other than your soak, which is uh, let's let's find out, John. It is <laughs> it is six. <laughs> oh man. Well, it's because I'm still injured. That's what this is, guys. I'm just, I'm still injured. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, then you will lose three initiative. And Brevin will gain four. As he does successfully manage to knock you aside, um, dodging around the sword and just... And now you are past him. He is... Or rather, he's past you, perhaps in more ways than one. Aresta. Uh, I'm <laughs> headed towards Brevin. Uh, and I'm going to be charging at him and uh, attempting probably to grapple him. I just need to quickly check that. Grapple is a gambit. Gambit. Difficulty two. Great. Uh, decisive <laughs> attack. I do not have much right. initiative Wait, no, to no, try no. that. God damn it. <laughs> um, fine, I'll just be a withering. Well, uh, so... Seeing him quickly deal with Pyres, I want to try to uh, put myself between him and Bracken in order to be able to gain his focus and his attention, um, trying to, like, check him straight across the chest. Okay. Uh, moving like the aspect for which he is known, uh, Brevin is going to attempt to slide between your legs. Uh, and then come up on the other side to progress oh. forward. Right now. His defense is currently sitting at six. Because he has an onslaught go, penalty. Go, go, go. What's he up to? It's, it's over there. That's nice. Eight. I think you're okay. Yep. Eight. So that's you said he was at six? Yes. Great. Uh, his soak is currently at eight. Yep. Great. Water, yeah. I mean, makes I sense. I should have assumed better. All right, so while I'm that better. is happening, uh, I will give you round so you can regain five of your moats if you haven't yeah. uh, done so already. We're going to start with Brevin as he has the most initiative currently. Oh. What? Well, he's actually, perhaps he isn't. Three initiative. You subtracted uh, ten from those. I subtracted eight. You or eight, sorry. Eight. Bit, bit, yeah. bit, bit, bit. So three initiative yeah. is what he loses. Uh, well, that puts him behind Bracken, uh, but now it is Bracken and Brevin who are going to act first this round. So regain your five motes, please. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Bracken just sighs looks at him, and then just flicks the board so that it's going to land directly between Brevin's eyes. She misses. Oh, oh no. for the love of God. Uh, the board is sent careening off and uh, smacks into the wall, whereupon it cracks right down the center. Marble 
falling on either side. Is that my board? No. No, not your board. Oh, okay. There were other boards. Uh, The, I will also point out that now there's a few singes coming up, but then also you can smell a little bit of uh, water rising up from the carpeted floor as Brevin is also starting to flux. Now I should point out that Ciantel and uh, Flivian, I never rolled for them. Oh, yeah. Uh, So as I make contact with Brevin, I just want to whisper to him, you're ruining our plan. There is one. As I like look him right in the eye. Ooh. Okay. So Flivian, unfortunately, well, she is also still dealing with wound penalties. See on tell. See on tell is at initiative eight. We're going to say that the two of them were just surprised this mm-hmm. round just to we keep it going we were so much better when we were fighting it fighting in like full fangs we <laughs> fight one dude and we're fucked <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a dude it's Revan uh, <laughs> that's true I mean look <laughs> <laughs> just just look uh, so Brevin then spreads his hands um and activates uh, his martial arts stance, which is, if you'll remember, it's fire dragon style, despite the fact that he is a water aspect. As you do. Uh, oh. And just with another one of his roundhouse kicks, just attempts to slam into Bracken's chest, driving her back. He is tr- He's hyper-focused only on who he believes is the true target here. See if he succeeds. Uh, ooh. Oh. Okay, no, he hits. Oh. Uh, so while he doesn't actually make contact through, oh, damn. Uh, while he doesn't actually make contact with her, he does manage to send her uh, considerably back uh, as she tumbles over her desk and then tries to right herself. Uh, That is uh, six successes on the damage roll, which now puts uh, it, it, well, let's just say that it puts uh, Brevin at 16 and knocks (laughs) Bracken right down the ratings. Uh, At this point now, we are at Ciantel. Ciantel, seeing that Gale Whispered has left, just very quietly starts to uh, hide in the stacks. <laughs> and that's all she's going to do for this one. Aresta and Gail Whispered, you both act on the same initiatives. Tick? Uh, I'm going to move to defend other four Bracken. Very well. Gail Whispered? I am going to, once I'm in Bracken's office, I'm going to use a linguistics charm to... Uh, mimic Juin's writing and write um, basically additional code on the letter. Okay. I mean... What are you writing? Um, can I message it to you when yes. I thought of it? Thank you. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, okay, so then we're moving on. Uh, Pyres, and Bra- uh, Pyres and Bracken are actually on the same tick, so I'll give it to Pyres first. Okay, um, this is this is getting out of hand. Uh, I want to. Uh, I've I've kind of landed and gotten hit, <laughs> knocked by a stack of books. Byers um, is going to uh, jump up onto the nearest table. I want to suck in a deep breath of air. There's still a roaring fire. I want to pull some of the fire out of the grate so that it it comes towards me, to manipulate it so that it twirls up my sword, holding it aloft. This is abandoned. Um, I want to. Uh, point directly at Brevin and just shout uh, Cadet Regara Brevin, halt in the name of Commandant Nuvin uh, and, and try to threaten him, I guess. Bold. Threaten. Nice. Bold. Okay. Okay, are you taking advantage of a specific uh, of a specific intimacy here? You don't have to as a threat in action, I should point out. Yeah. But you uh, can if you believe you know something that you can use against him. I... 
know that I know he has intimacies. I know he has intimacies. I don't know if he has one specifically towards authority or um, order uh, or like the hierarchy, but I'm going to assume he has a respect for the commandant. Okay. His name. All right. We'll see if that plays out for you. I know what the difficulty is. Okay. Um, and as for you, uh, this is going to be a manipulation presence. Okay. Um, and I'll give I'll, you, yeah. I'll give you two dice and a success, nice. and a willpower for that. Thanks, man. I mean, uh, you're pulling fire out and using it on yeah, your sword. Yeah, feels good. Go just like right up there. Okay. And then um, I, I'll double nines with a charm as well. So you know, sure. hopefully that plays off here. Is that right? Minus one with a success. Coming in. Here we go. <laughs> you gave me a success, right, John? I did. Okay. Is that the so one, one success su you got? So one success and a mega botch otherwise. <laughs> well, see, this is why you want to get some good stunts. <laughs> <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, you merely, you merely, uh, you, you do shout. You look quite impressive. You see that Flavien <laughs> has like a moment of like, hmm, as... Oh as you say this, but uh, Brevin is just so focused, he doesn't hear you. I'm gonna get him. Bracken, now seeing that you are intending to defend, uh, picks up the flag, one of the flag pieces from the board. This one is, by the way, uh, belonging to Gale Whispered, uh, and she holds it in her fingertips and just Waits. Fluvienne, however, uh, comes in like a wrecking ball and she moves forward. She's going to attempt to tackle Brevin, although this is just a withering attack. That's what she's attempting to do, but it's not actually a gambit. Uh, Bracken did not act this round. Bracken, uh, Brevin attacked Bracken and stole enough initiative that she got knocked way down in the round. Mm. So no, it is not a charm usage. It is that she had not acted yet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. But no one has actually attacked him this round, so he doesn't have the onslaught penalty. So she misses. And that is round. Regain five, please, everybody. Yay. Five uh, votes. The first person to act is going to be uh, our charged up Brevin. Um, and he just, through gritted teeth, stand aside. Stop interfering. Oh boy. Okay, so he's gonna go for it. Uh, yep. He's going to attack. So now, he has to overcome my parry. That is correct. If he overcomes your parry, but doesn't overcome, um, if he overcomes your parry, He'll hit you. Mm -hmm. If he overcomes your parry and hers, he'll hit her. I believe is how that works. Uh, just no, uh, you can use your threshold to attack protector or the defended. Oh, okay. But if it's oh, a decisive boy. attack versus the defended, there's extra penalties. Is it decisive or withering? Mm. Okay, this is a decisive attack. Yeah. Yep. All right. No, you've got yeah. it right. He's coming so in hot, go. folks. Yep, just... What is your... Uh, I'm going to spend some moats to increase my soak. So he, at yeah. this point, uh, is going to reach out um, and with incredible flexibility, he's going to lower himself, uh, splitting his legs so nice. that he's low down, reach out, catch or attempt to catch Bracken by the ankle and then pick her up and then just whirl her into the fireplace. Uh, so seeing him start to move in that direction, I'd like to intercept uh, by trying to uh, block him right in the el in his op outstretched elbow joint mm -hmm. um, by trying to get it across the joint and uh, bend it backwards. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, I'm gonna give an extra die for the... Well, essentially, you don't... I don't think you roll. What is your parry? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. What, I was just like assembling. What so, is your parry? Yep. I will give that to you. Oh, parry. Arbar. And you'll get Arbar. an extra one for your parry for the stunt. Seven. Okay. I 
I'm not optimistic here, but we'll no, see. No, but, you know, Stranger Things, right? Three. You said seven? Yeah. I rolled six successes. Ooh. His so as he comes forward with his with his arm, mm -hmm. exactly as you planned it, you bar his arm, and you can see his mm -hmm. eyes flaring with anger, um, and you feel the chill of what at first feels like it could be sweat, but then you realize is merely just more of his anima flux coming up. As uh, it can't do any damage to you, you are dragon blooded, mm -hmm. but uh, just soaking wet at this point. Uh, so his attack failed. Uh, sucks to be him. And huh, we move yes. on. Uh, we are now at Siantel. That was three because he was over ten? Three Ooh. initiative? We've had this argument before. <laughs> yes. We, uh, we have, I mean. Uh, sorry, I will get it to you. Uh, sorry. Initiative one to ten, you lose two. Oh, okay. Eleven plus, yeah. you lose three. three. There we go. Uh, okay, then we are on to Siantel, who is currently in stealth. Uh, and then you see that she is now uh, opening up one of the windows and beckoning towards Bracken. Okay. So that's all she does for hers. Uh, Gail and Aresta, you're still acting on the same tick. Uh, oh, because he attacked, but I was defending. Yes. Uh... I would like to try to uh, sweep at his ankles with my intense bow, attempting to... Uh, no, actually, sorry. Gil, go ahead. There's a term that I need to look up. Okay. Sure. I finish my letter. Smash. <laughs> okay, you have successfully finished. Great. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attempt to smash. I just I think that I have to spend something to smash, so... So let me smash? Uh, yeah, I will take minus one defense and minus two initiative to do so. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to make this a smashing attack, and otherwise it's a withering attack. Uh, yeah, as I'm swing, swinging right at his ankles, trying to really get him off balance. I mean, you may proceed uh, to attempt to smash Brevin. Brevin? <laughs> yeah! Uh, that is... Not, not the thing I was expecting to say at the beginning of the game. <laughs> but not what I was expecting to hear today. Fuck. Pause. Sorry. Oh, no. Sorry. Okay. I just spilled wine everywhere. Oh, All boy. right. Full time out. Here. So you've I've, sent something. I've written a letter, yes, yes, and I've sent excited. it into the ether. Oh, the ether. Into okay. the ether. I'm very exciting. I'm very exciting. I'm very, ex I'm very excited. I'm very excited to know. It's just the uh, first time we're doing combat at the small desk, and I do not have enough space. Okay. Ether. That's fun. Ah, house ether. And I missed. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to take this opportunity to find out what message you sent. Cool. Oh, here it is. These things happen. I'll tell Kate when she comes back. Okay. Tell me if there's anything unclear. Sorry, everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Damn. I <laughs> see what you've written. Uh, that is impressive. Thank you. I am curious how this is going to go down. <laughs> that but, makes two of us. <laughs> but I, I, I hear you. I got you. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well... Oh, yeah, there it is. Now I understand. You should Sorry. Breathe, there it is. Please. I'm breathing heavily and I don't want to make everyone listen to this. Okay. All right. So that will mute Kate if I did that correctly. Did I do that correctly? <laughs> yes, I did. All you hear is fuck off. It, it mattered as to whichever one I, I plugged in, if I plugged into the right <laughs> port or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. This is actually kind of important. So we're going to, um, we're going to wait for a second Pyres, yeah. <laughs> uh, now that you have attempted your action uh, and then didn't quite manage to seal that deal, as it were, as it were. Uh, do you have another specific uh, 
thing that you're going to attempt right after this. Yeah, I need some initiative. <laughs> so, uh, as pointed out, and as of course I, I, as I, yeah, as I remember as well, um, I can, uh, I can flurry a socialize with a combat action. So, I mean, what I'd like to do uh, at this moment, while Brevin is distracted by, well, and we'll, we won't resolve it until after arrest, obviously. But what I'd like to do um, while he's distracted is uh, leap across the tables. Um, and kind of drop down right next to Brevin uh, and try to kind of tie his arms up, right? It's okay. not a grapple per se. It's a withering attack. Okay. Um, and at the same time, I want to try to use my uh, appearance to inspire um, <laughs> some awe in him. Okay. So you basically want to land in front of him and just be hot? Well, yeah. <laughs> I want to yeah, be no, like, I want to hear. Captivating? Yeah, captivating, sure. I yeah, I <laughs> Look, look, it's a withering attack. <laughs> it's a withering attack and I want to inspire uh, a sense of awe in him so that he might be a bit shocked. Okay. As okay. opposed to like fury, which is what I assume he's feeling right now. <laughs> I mean, fury. Hmm. Hmm. Pure cold rage is what I'm assuming. Uh, that is fair. Mm -hmm. uh, Pyres is hot in more ways than one at this moment. That is also fair. Thank you. That's okay. correct. Oh, Pyres. Okay. Uh, so, yep, yeah, no problem. We're, we're just no, dealing with other things first. Uh, Gail whispered, are you going to remain in the office at this time? Or are so you coming I'm, out? Well, I'm gonna. I'm poking my head out. I'm basically waiting for an opportunity when, like, people are gonna actually be listening. Uh, so I'm not gonna be walking into no fray anytime soon. Um, so I'm keeping guard. If I manage to inspire some awe, it might kind of like freeze him briefly. I don't, that's that's. Okay. Or if Aresta like you know, knocks the wind out of that's him. That's another which is option. Possible too. Hell. I don't. I don't need to talk. <laughs> don't you? I can just, I mean, if, you know, you knock him out. If you can knock him out, then I don't have to do shit. I don't have to do shit. I just wrote a cool letter. I don't know. Guys, it's like win-win to me. Guys, look at this letter that I wrote. <laughs> Guys, I wrote a poem for you, Tell. That's what I was doing in the office. <laughs> I wrote a poem. It's not poem the right you. time. Roses are red. I like Gateway. I like you almost as much as Gateway. <laughs> 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 the end. <laughs> <laughs> you are. If you read this letter, please don't hate me. <laughs> Want to lay? <laughs> All right, so we've got the hype train going. Oh. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, Arresta, you were you were at initiative seven, right? So then you have spent your two initiative already. <laughs> right, 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 right. I was doing something completely different. Sorry, these dice are not being rolled. Yeah. Um, so I was attempt you were I was, attending I was a attempting attack. a smash attack. Yes. Okay. So you've yeah. already spent the initiative I see there on the Yeah. on our tracker. Yeah, okay. But otherwise, it's a regular withering attack. Yep. It's a regular withering attack. If you succeed, you can either knock the opponent back one range band or knock them prone. Two, four, six, eight. Targets may be knocked back into dangerous or deadly threats like lava pits or steep cliffs. But there aren't any lava <laughs> pits on the House of Bells. I'm uh, sorry. I mean, at this point, <laughs> I might be creating one very shortly. Who knows? <laughs> now, Who I'll knows? say this. Kate has her flowchart going right now, and she knows exactly how this is going down. So I have so a feeling like this has a t Fuck me. All right. <laughs> uh, so that beats his, his defense, mm -hmm. which is nobody attacked him. 
yet this round either. So his defense was seven. Mm -hmm. So you succeeded. You have three threshold successes over top of that. Mm -hmm. um, will you like? Would you like to knock him a range band, or do you want to knock him prone? Prone, please. Okay, so you're knocking him down. Oh, <laughs> I'll find the die. Don't worry. Thank you. Yay! Whoop. Uh, what's his soak? Uh, his soak is, uh, I believe I said it was eight. Yeah, <clears throat> correct. Great. Thank you. Just making sure it isn't pumping it. Oh, let's don't grow in puddles. It's strange that die just... But we yeah, it's love going. It. It's fine. This appears. You're, you're such an inspiration for puddles. You ever have that happen to you where a die just, like, vanishes into the ether? Oh, yeah. You land on the It's too late. I rolled. Um, what? Oh, did I reroll in the wrong place? I cheated. I rerolled in the wrong place, I think. Sorry, oh. I was flustered. Um, cheating is just a friend you haven't made yet. Oh. What? Cheating is the friends we've made along the <laughs> made way. Made along the way. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so I need to reroll the first roll. That sounds even worse. Like, I had <laughs> enough successes, but still. Okay. Um, That's fine. Sorry, folks. It's no, like, no, no, it's... I feel like I knocked over a whole bottle how much it got everywhere. That's um, fine. That's no! the true tra tragedy. <laughs> Tragedy. That's the true tragedy. It's just like it like went on my, my safety cards. It went on my phone and like my dice and my like the microphone. Like it was all these little things. Yep. Um, Classic. Like this, wipe that. Okay. I'm going to get no ton. successes. I'm ready if I need to roll my shit. Yeah, I don't succeed. Okay. Uh, so the Tetsubo comes out. When you rerolled your successes last time, I, I had like a bajillion successes and I just got more, but I, I cheated. I re-rolled stuff that I wasn't supposed to, so I like I re-rolled the correct number of dice and it didn't come up correctly, so okay. that's how it goes. Darn. Alright, uh, then Pyres, it is up to you. Okay, well, so the, the plan still stands. I'm hoping to use the distraction from uh, Aresta's, you know, Tetsubo in such close quarters to essentially leap down and appear beside Revan and lock him, lock his arm in, I guess, with, with hope and abandon. Mm -hmm. um, it's a withering attack, but I'm hoping to also simultaneously inspire awe in him that he's, you know, maybe momentarily stunned or frozen. Um, so I am going to flurry those two actions, but I can ignore that penalty because of the charm. So that, that Okay, so define. Your first action <laughs> <A> is? <lot. laughs> my first action is a, a withering attack uh, with my swords, gonna try to uh um cuddle yeah cuddle exactly no i'm gonna try to yeah lock him in and your second action it is an inspire inspire a feeling of awe okay your withering action first you can get two dice for your stunt thank you let's go john can i be doing a different action i've changed my mind uh yes it's just writing things can i just be writing more stuff like furiously yes uh gail continues to write furiously thank you that's great does she like growl while she does it? Is it like, Argh! I feel like she's like chewing on a, like a, a quill. Like a lot of dice. And then she has another quill that she's writing with. And then she's going. Argh! Okay. Fair. Wow. What is happening? I mean, this is, this is 10 successes on the withering attack. Okay. I don't feel. So good. what's happening is you rolled. Basically you stole Arresta's rolls. So Sorry, go ahead. Arrest. Yep. Uh, soak. Dare I ask? So is eight. Eight, right? Yeah. So your damage plus two. Sounds fantastic. Okay. Yeah, she's just writing furiously over and over, and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> uh, oh no, I guess. Brevin, don't be mad. Brevin, don't be mad. Don't be mad, Brevin. Uh, That's literally whoa. all you're writing? Yeah. Hey. Five successes. Five successes Please. will take steal five Ten. initiative from Brevin. Done. And you'll gain six. Yep. Now for then... your flurried social action, please. Thank you, sir. Um, charisma, like appearance, presence. What do we? What do we think? You're literally just trying to stun him with your looks. Yeah. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Sorry. And it's yeah. appearance, presence. Go. Okay. Cool. Thanks. You can also have your two dice for this. Three successes on the Inspire. Okay. Um, the Withering Attack definitely landed, but the social action 
Uh, while he does glance at you for a second, there it, he is not holding. Your your inspire action didn't quite do the trick what would, here. What will it take for you to notice me, Brevin? <laughs> Apparently. Just kidding. Apparently. Uh, okay, with that, then we move on. Uh, Bracken is now going out the window, uh, accompanied by Siantel. And then Flavienne just shouts, There's no one left to fight! And that's round. Regain five. I'll remind people to just check to make sure that they don't have any anima flaring that I should know about. I shouldn't be glowing. I did go up uh, to burning. Okay, well. so this library now is currently dripping wet on fire and an earthquake is shaking. I swear to God. Okay, well, we gotta I get mean, out I of here. I mean, I shouldn't be because I shouldn't have spent those moments, but I didn't realize what I was doing, so it's happening. We're in trouble. I, I, I'm furious. The commandant's going to be really mad, hey? I'm really mad. <laughs> you should be okay, scared of so me. So that's round. Pyre's your first. Great. Um, yeah. Uh, let's um let's do it i'm going to uh again launch a decisive attack i'm just going to lift hope up into the air uh and kind of use it as a distraction i'm i'm fainting with this sword so that i can come in and just pop him in the face with the butt of this sword again i'd like to not do lethal damage That's fine. but i'd like to try to crack him in the skull uh you know to put him down on the ground um yeah Okay, that's two cool. dice for your stunt. Go for it. His defense that's... is still seven because it's a new round. Or no, no, he was attacked. You attacked him, so his defense is six. Okay. Five, actually. Arresta also attacked him. Woohoo! Okay, five. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, while Scott's rolling, John, can I just double check? Um, did you win appear at the window and gestured Bracken no, to fall? No, Ciantel. Ciantel did. Okay, cool. Phew. I know. Holy shit. Can that you would have been... Juin's like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Run. <laughs> oh, boy. Everyone, get out of here. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run for your lives. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pyre's got the here dice go. to roll. Uh, Gail, do you have anything else that you're doing? Because you are next in the initiative track. Uh, three successes. That's not I enough, I'm afraid. I just can't catch a break today. So I'll lose my initiative. I'm basically trying to just do as much writing as I can until Brevin's ready to listen. So I, this is what this is how I'm filling my time, like just frantically scribbling things down. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm writing. Oh um, shit! No, I made a mistake. Uh, oh. Brevin and uh, Brevin and Pyres, you are actually both on the same initiative tick. Oh. So it's actually a clash attack. Okay. So you have to reroll. Uh, I just okay. I just I just took away two initiative from myself. Oh, okay. So no real decisive. Sorry. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I thought I was. That would have been. Clashing. I want a good clash yeah. attack. I just went to it. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Then here we go. Uh, you can give me another attack for free. Let's just see who's he pissed off at more, Aresta or no, Aresta? Yep. Yeah, you did to successfully defend yeah. his attack. So uh, he is going to attempt to. Uh, he's just going to attempt to knock you over. I can try. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cross my arms and uh, flex my muscles and like stand really square. Okay. Nice. Uh, this is withering or de decisive. This is this is a withering attack. Yeah. Uh, before I see your results, uh, I'm going to uh, spend some motes and increase my parry. So my parry is now six. Okay. So. He, he runs forward um, and with that same elbow that he used so successfully to push uh, to push Pyres away uh, it sinks directly into your sternum and you can do whatever you want because he did not beat your parry so nice. what, what will you do uh, with this elbow you can just describe it for me uh, yeah I'm gonna just 
push it past me to hopefully like make him lose his balance. Like stumble like, it? Yeah, basically deflect the force so that it continues. So it makes solid contact, boof, and you're just like, eh. <laughs> no. <laughs> so he, he does stumble uh, at this point, so he fails on that. Uh, I'm going to ask if anybody has any other major attacks that they want to pull off against him. Uh, actually, technically that's Arresta. Do I have to ask? Uh, if if he isn't... He he slid off you. Yeah. But like, it is now your action. So if it's my action, unless you're telling me that combat is over... T- combat would... will end if everyone else decides they're not going to attack. My only intent is to keep him here. So that's, that's the thing. Okay. So describe what you would do to keep him here okay. and it's not an attack. Okay, great. Then uh, I'm going to, when he starts stumbling, I'm going to like push it, get my hand on his shoulder and push him down so that he sits and like hold him there. Do you say anything when you do that? We need to talk. Okay, so he uh, irritated and now seeing that he's now surrounded by, you know, only dragon blooded and that his original target is now no longer there. He looks up at you. You idiot. You're letting her go. She's getting away. She's going to lead us to the others. There are, you've seen two of them, and there are more. Uh, I would like to send a quick message to um, Aresta in this moment, just mm-hmm. saying, uh, don't name the other anathema. Two? Who's the other one? They were in so, the glade. Are you done blowing our cover now, Brevin? God damn it, Brevin! I'm slamming my swords down on a table. Please. You almost ruined everything. Ruined what? You just uh, heard her. She just like, admitted to being anathema. You, didn't. you had a plan all along? Yes. I ignore him and walk forward carrying a huge sheath stack of paper. Um, at the very top is the the note from Juin to Bracken along with my own little edition at the bottom. <laughs> um, uh, I put the, the papers down and hand him this. This took me longer than I care to admit to crack. Do you want to try? What is this? Is something about returning books? Who cares? Is that, is that really all you see right now? I'm not like you. I don't see what you see in this. Well, maybe you should look harder before jumping to conclusions. Maybe you should have told me and he snatches the paper. Crack the code, Brevin. Go. Do it. Do it and then we'll determine whether or not we can trust you with the truth. Okay. He's going to give it his all. It's not going to be a lot. (laughs) Go, buddy. (laughs) You can do it. You know, he got Uh, four successes. Hey. That's great. But that's not enough. But... I was hoping, John, I could use my high success to determine how easy I want my code to be to crack. Yeah. Now, you specifically could. my part of the code. Yeah, you you absolutely could. You can just make it just a very easy code if you wanted it's it easy. to. It's easy. Okay, well, then he, uh, on four dice, he rolls four successes and he cracks your fucking code. Yeah. Lucky prick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you figure it out? So he he reads aloud. You are the chosen of games. Juin is the true anathema. You will tell no one who this letter is truly from. You will ensure the lost hand wins each and every game until the time has come to dispatch them. You will defend my safety at the cost of your own. Signed, Vieran. Uh, Pyres turns away so as not to betray anything on his face. I know a powerful sorcerer when I see one. I've been studying the occult for 10 years. Is this true? Well, that's what we were trying to figure out, wasn't it? What I was able to gather from this note when I broke into Bracken's office is that not only was this letter coded, but it was a spell. We know that the wretched are very powerful manipulators. That much was conferred to us by Seven Fingers today. That was the last piece of the puzzle we needed to figure out who the true anathema was. 
and why he went through such tr trouble to frame Juin and Bracken at once. You're saying that Vieran is a wretched? Does that really surprise you? Think of what's been happening to the school ever since he got here. He tried to pull Pyres out of the infirmary right after the fire to go join him alone on a private hunt. What do you think he was going to do? Kill the one person who had seen him start the fire. Viren started that fire. Uh, I definitely turn back to Brevin as well and just like, that's true. I push all my papers towards him. This is all of the research I've been compiling ever since his arrival. These are just random pieces of paper. But it's all backing up the stuff I'm saying. Yeah, it's all Bracken's papers, but like yeah. you don't actually, it's not like you wrote them or anything like well, that. Well, I have been right. This is supposed to be my research. This okay. is Gail's research. It's flow charts and everything. Okay, he's not actually going to read them. He's <laughs> it's fine. I just want them to look impressive. Yeah. <laughs> he rubs his elbow as he's looking at this, at, at the whole thing. You can't just tell someone who's been under a powerful spell that they are not who they think they are. We were trying to gain her trust so that she would lead us to him. And you almost well, screwed it all up. It's possible you did. We don't know that. We just have to hope she comes back. You'd better hope that Siantel manages to talk her down. You'd better really hope. You say the word, Commander, and I will make sure that he understands the breadth of his indiscretion. I'd like to think that Raven is smart enough to not need us to spell it out for him any further. Okay, I'm going to ask something of all of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I want you to roll me. This is all manipulation, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, none of y'all telling the truth here. That is that is not the whole yep. truth, anyway. Mm -hmm. Parts uh, of the truth, yeah, exactly. I will ask you to roll your manipulation and for... Okay, for Gale Whispered, I want you to roll your manipulation linguistics. For Aresta, I want you to roll your manipulation and your... I'm gonna say... Presence. Okay. And for... Uh, and for you, Pyres, I'm going to ask you to roll your manipulation and your presence as well. Okay. Uh, no stunting on this one. I'm taking it into account. It's just... I can't give you six Two. extra dice for this. Two. Oh, no. Scott, no. What? Scott... Did you get Liz? I got seven. Seven successes? I bought them. Can I have some of hers? <laughs> what did you uh, roll? I, I, yeah, I, I rolled a I rolled a double botch. I rolled a botch. I rolled a couple ones. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Eight successes. I forgot I used my linguistics. If Excellent anyone seat. wants to kick me out of the fang, this is yeah, a you're decent out. time, honestly. You can take Brevin. Or, you know, someone else. Okay. So you're going to go after her. You're going to see who she goes to, and you you think that she knows where Vieran is. Vieran's not stupid enough to go to her now. We have to wait until she comes back. We have to gain her trust again. The only way that you're going to be able to gain her trust is by showing that you've managed to conquer me. You have a good point there. What are you saying? You're going to have to put me down. Put you down how? We got to make it look good. Pyres? Yeah? And he stands and he just widens his arms and he 
looks away, which means that he's actually kind of looking at Aresta at this point. Uh, I also look towards Aresta. Uh, well, he's not looking to Aresta for advice oh. or for no, 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 no. He's but looking I am, at Aresta so. because he's looking away from you. Pyres, Commander, just do it. Sorry, do you say something? I just I looked to my commander and I said, Commander. There's got to be a better way. We can't just answer this all with violence. Okay. <sighs> look, I had a plan, and that plan got thrown into the river, and I look uh, pointedly at all of the damp carpet. So I'm going to need time to come up with a new one. And it would be really nice to have a nice, quiet, tidy library to do this thinking in. And I look meaningfully at all the shelves. That have been, like, knocked over and... Yeah, and then I look at Brevin. I don't know how to put this back. I step up to Brevin. You and me, together, we're going to put this library back, and we're going to go turn ourselves into the Commandant for destroying some property. Right? little tussle, little friendly rivalry tussle. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it back. Just the two know. of us. Yeah, I don't know where everything goes, but I'm sure we can figure it out. We're pretty smart, you and me. I don't just put things back without if knowing exactly sure where they're supposed the to go. It would be better if you put it on the cart. Okay. If I don't know, <laughs> please, if I can't figure Just it out, Just as somebody guys. who worked in libraries for a decade, <laughs> that is the correct answer. If you don't know where a book goes, just leave it on a table or on a cart. Just don't fucking touch don't it. Fucking put it back wherever. Because it's guys. when people put things back in the wrong place that they're lost. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. yeah. I have intelligence, too. I feel like I can figure out some of the books. <laughs> Do you have any so. lore? Do I have any more? Lore. Lore. Oh. Lore. I have a lore. Do you have any linguistics? I have a linguistics. Uh, yeah, you could probably... Uh, maybe. No, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Well, if, if it's super obvious, like, oh, this comes from the erotica section, which we've heard a lot it's about. It's a very big section. Uh, <laughs> then I'll put it back, you know, appropriately. And if There's not, a picture of Arresta on, on, the, on the shelves. <laughs> Pink wing. Cadet of the month. <laughs> Commander, we should we should make sure that we're not here. Once sure. As Flavienne starts to walk out, yep. she does that thing where she just walks a little too close to Brevin and checks him with her shoulder and then opens the door, walks out of the library and then waits. I feel you. I feel you, Bre Brevin. I didn't know. Exactly. And we're always told you see the enemy, you destroy them, but you saw the five of us not attacking her. I didn't know whether you were under her spell. We're also taught to fight in groups. Don't try to take one of them on on your own. Don't worry, I won't. It'll mean your death. And they're who knows, maybe they feed off of us. <laughs> but True. it's better to live and gain allies than to die and go missing. The only way to defeat the enemy is by being smart about it. We'll talk when this is over. I know your heart's in the right place. 
It always has been. I'm gonna give him a little gent mm, yeah, gentle shoulder punch. Like a gentle or a gentle for Aresta? Gentle for Aresta, he can take it. Like thud. <laughs> <laughs> and then head out. Okay. Uh before leaving, I would like to um hand my papers to him. Or go to hand them to him. I've had months to work on this and this is all coming at you really quickly so if you want to catch up using no, my research no. we'll we'll talk after this i i have to clean this place up uh i'd like to um uh read intentions okay on him to find out what his intentions are for the scene i never learned to read no <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty rough Uh, in fact, he would not be able to get into the academy. I was just thinking, like, it'd be really, really tough to have pretended for so many years. Oh, There's only one success. Uh, then no. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you can go. Bye-bye. He closes the door and he locks it. Although the lock is just like a really, it's like, it's basically just like a, mm -hmm. like a latch. Right. And he walks over and he closes the window. Have you cooled off any? I like, you know, flick some moisture off my hair, probably. No. Yeah, I guess. Good. You need to prove to me that you're in your right mind. Oh, it's going to be like that. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly how it's going to be. Yeah. Well, you're not my commander, but why don't you lead me through the exercise then? Brevin. Gladly. Seeing as how it doesn't look like you could hack it as a leader. I just like want to like make the fire in the little grate shimmer a little bit as I breathe out, but I'm, I'm good. Who's your commanding officer? Kathak Oresta. Why, pray tell, is she the commanding officer of the Fang of the Lost Hand? An excellent question. Also, none of your damn business. Which means you don't know, which means I can only assume that you're not entirely within your faculty. Revan, I gave up my position as commander of Fang of the Lost Hand. I gave it to someone who was, in that moment, more worthy of the title. Something a true leader does. And why you know what I mean. would she be more worthy than Kathak Pyres? Kathak Aresta is clearly capable, but she's no Pyres, is she? Among your house? On the one hand, Brevin, I feel like I feel like the best way for me to show you that I'm in my right mind is just to and then I kind of like mime, you know, playfully mime like punching at his jaw. He reaches out and he catches your fist. Is that what you want to do every time you see me? You want to destroy me. You got a punchable face. What can I say? You've got a pathetic attitude. My attitude is fine, Brevin. I look. It takes a lot for me to admit this, and I'm sorry if it's not what you want to hear. Okay, but I fucked up, and I gave my leadership over to Kathak Aresta. Maybe one day I'm gonna earn it back. How many times have you done that with your sister? Not the same, and you know that's not the same. No. Who is your sister anyway? to you um, is she really the great hero that Kathak needs 
fact needs her. Yeah. More than you? I don't need her. No, you just need your fang, right? When... How long ago... How long has it been that you've known what you were destined to be? How many years? You know what the difference is between you and me, Pyres? What's the difference, Brevin? I'm not bound to my destiny. Oh. It doesn't weigh on my shoulders. Look. Some of us have greatness thrust upon them. Some of us are just great. And then he lifts one of the bookshelves and settles yeah, it okay. back into its place. Uh, Like, I feel like, yeah, Byers is just going to slump, you know, against one of the tables, just like, ugh, you know, he'll drag himself back up and try to get to work, but he's just like, ugh. This is what happens. This is why you're left behind to pick up the fight and everyone else gets to do what's important. Because you're getting carried, Pyres. First it was your sister carrying you in your name. Now it's your fang, your new fang. Aresta, who's leading where you couldn't. Gale Whispered, who has the strategies you could never come up with. Even Siantel and Flavienne, who I trained, are managing to find their ways to carry you to victory. You're the weak link. I just don't understand why. Why do you have to? Why do you have to punch down all the time, Brevin? And it's because you think I'm punching down. That you'll always be down. You only attack me when I'm down. You never take me face to face. And then Pyres realizes what he says a little bit, gets a little red behind the ears, and then he closes his mouth. There's no one else here. No one's going to notice if we mess up the library a little more. Do you want to find out? Here and now. I'm sorry, I'm still hurt from saving someone's life. For you. Always an excuse, Spires. Every single time. Oh, fuck you. Mm, I just, I want to like dash up to him and just like fucking grab him by the collar. Like, fuck this kid. Fuck this kid. <laughs> That's it. That's it. See that? It's called ambition. Gumption. Do it. Go ahead. I'll let you have the first punch. Do it. My ambition isn't to... isn't to pick on cowards. That's not my life. And I don't want it to be my life. I aspire to something greater. What do you aspire to be, Pyres? Huh? Surrounded in a library with books that you've managed to catch on fire because you couldn't handle it. What is it that you think you should be? Something that I'm not yet. Does that make any sense to you? He's still being held, I assume? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've slackened my grip a bit. There's maybe like, maybe a little bit of misty eye, maybe a little tear happening. You really don't know, do you? You really have no clue where you're going to end up in all of this. At the bottom of the heap, sounds like. You really are being carried. Come on, Brevin. We, we could have been best friends. You and me. Why do you have to be like this? I can't believe that I thought you took everything from me and it turns out that all you did was be there when everyone else did instead. 
I am so happy for you that you're gonna have, that you're gonna be able to make yourself feel better at my expense. That's that, that really makes me happy. But I'm really Look sorry that you I didn't am. end up being who I thought you were, who okay, I wanted Brett. you to be. You want me to be some sort of horrible beast that like smashes people's faces in? I want you to be better than all of us. I see the way that everybody looks at you. You can't even cross campus without at least half the student body wondering where you're headed. They want to follow you, but you don't know where you're going. I wanted to know where you were going. Right now I'm I'm just here. I need you to be more than that. And he starts picking up the books and he's like, I don't think these are that badly damaged. Are they? Are they badly damaged? They're leather bound. Okay. So no. I mean, okay, it that's... smells awful in here right now. <laughs> Wet and like burnt. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. Um, I want to reach out and try to help him put that book down on a table. If he's not sure where it goes. So your hands touch. And he looks at you. How do we, how do we both lead each other? Maybe we're not supposed to. Maybe the best I can do is try to drive you forward. You're doing a pretty good job driving me crazy. You have to be better than this. Because if I feel like you're not, then I don't care what kind of plan Gale Whispered has come up with. I'll make sure you're not around so that somebody who can get the job done will be. Um, I'm going to reach around to the back of his head uh, and just like put my hand in his hair. Sorry, how bad did you want me to be? Oh. <laughs> what timing? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't abandon this now. <laughs> Do you think you deserve to have me this way? I don't think. I know. I give him a little one of these, a little wink, link a winkaroo. He leans forward just a bit more. And then he whispers, it's a good start. But right now, I can't kiss a failure. Push him off, mate. <laughs> and he turns around and he just starts walking out of the library. Oh my god, you're leaving? <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Uh, um, I'm, I have to, I have to get between him and the door. <gasps> okay, so now that that's happening, uh, Aresta, Gail Whisper. <laughs> Jesus. Guys, well, I'm so glad up. that Pyrus and Brevin are gonna be, you know. Wait, put, Pyrus, Brevin. <laughs> put the, putting those books away, all nice and tidy. <laughs> la 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 la. So blissfully unaware. Uh, oh, I guess boy. we're headed back to our barracks room. Yeah. Great. Uh, and so we haven't seen Sia until since she slipped out the window of the library. No, she left with Bracken. Yeah, Great. she's not there. Then uh, Fluvian and Gail and Aresta head back to the barracks. I just want to, I want to introduce dirt to his face. 
like a lot of dirt. <laughs> I do wish that I could have put him out in one hit. Felt good when I did that in the cafeteria. I He's probably been training since then. He was humiliated. I don't think that he is capable of doing anything to you. Um, Commander, should we maybe search for Bracken and make sure that everyone's okay? At least Santel. And I assume Santel will know where Bracken is. Santel is probably okay. She's very <laughs> capable. She's fine. Yeah. But Still. yes, we should know where they are. Santel, she, she knows. She knows how to deal with all this. She must. Uh... We must trust her. Oh, of course. It's not. It's not about trusting her. It's just. It's new, new challenge at every corner. Uh, so I guess we head outside instead. I've lost all concept of time as well. Not sure what time of day it is. We finished class for the day. So and then we went to see Bracken after that. Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. you think that maybe we could see if they're still serving food? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> she just loves food. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, damn So do it. I, damn. Sure, we'll stop by the cafeteria. Get food for everyone. I'm sure Pyrus will be hungry after. You're playing an incredibly dangerous game. Girl. And you're playing thought... it with a chosen of games. Yes, this is true. It's good. But we've been playing Gateway for years now. She's taught me a lot. Sometimes when there's a very powerful weapon pointed at you, the best thing you can do is point it at someone else. I understand. I just... I'm worried that we're not going to be able to resolve this before we have to go. We probably won't be. But okay. at least Brevin's coming with us. We'll be able to keep an eye on him. True. True. He'll fall in line. He has to. After all, we dominated him. I think you would be kind of happy if you had to make an example of him again, Flavian. Why? You just get the impression you enjoy it. She laughs and just, ew! <laughs> and playfully kind of shoves a little bit over. I go flying. <laughs> no, she's she's Whee! she's not that strong. Yeah, yeah. I'm small. small <laughs> and I'm air. <laughs> Very well. Uh, <clears throat> Pyres. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm getting between Brevin and the door. Yep. What are you doing? You, you already blew your chance. <sighs> you don't have to respect me. You have to respect my fang, at the very least. And you have to respect this library and the House of Bells. Get your sorry excuse for an ass. Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. I can Damn see it. you searching for another Fuck. word. Get yourself back into that library. You and I are going to clean this place up. You're not leaving until we're done. I don't see how you can stop. Um, We've already established that you don't even know how to handle yourself. How dare you even try to handle me? Hmm? It's much easier to handle someone who is um, simple. I'm a really complicated person, so it takes time for me to get to know myself. But you're easy, Brevin. I'm easy. 
Yeah, you think a lot of yourself and you don't think very much of me. Done! That's all I know about you. It's all I really care to know about you. Wait a second. Hmm? You think that that's everything here? Prove me wrong. Tell me something I don't know about you. I know what I know about you. I've made that pretty clear. I know that you don't know where you're going. You're lost. I know that you think that for some reason I could even be attracted to you. Could be. Right. Here we are. Well, I already blew my chance, so I'm trying to make sure you know where I'm going. Where, where are I'm you going? going? Yeah. Right back in there, I point behind him, with you, hand in hand, to go clean up the mess that we made. You can think of it as a metaphor if you'd like, but we're going to have to actually do the work, too. Okay. Okay. Go. You go first. I'll be right behind you. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, yeah. Uh, newfound confidence. I am. I'm going to brush past him. Uh, try to give him a little... Not, not a shoulder tap, but just I want to make sure he, you know, feels me as I go by. Hmm? He follows behind you. Okay. He starts cleaning. Very good. Sets everything upright that was knocked over. Takes all of the, all of the shelves, including the one that he roundhouse kicked into your face. Sure. Uh, I'm not mad about it. Puts it back. <laughs> makes sure that it's adjusted properly. Uh, sets all the books down to where they're supposed to be, which is basically on tables or in carts. I am I am obviously also <laughs> doing these things, just to be <laughs> clear. I'm not just like watching him, supervising him, you know? And he goes over and he picks up the gateway board that was thrown at him, that smashed against the wall. He picks up the, the pieces. What am I supposed to do with this? Um... I suppose we should return it to our office. Shouldn't really throw it away. Yeah, let's uh, let's take it to our office. Is there any other? Are there any like pieces or anything? Or was it just the board that was kind of? Cracked? It was just the board. She just lifted I, the board. I'll. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, Brevin knows where her office is. I'm gonna also go there though, and uh, yeah. I Suppose the door's open, I hope. Yeah, it's still open, unless Gail closed it. Ooh. I mean, that does seem like an intelligent thing for me to have done. Yeah. So the door is locked. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, having not been involved <laughs> in the whole artifact lock discussion. <laughs> no, I, I, I know I won't be able to get in, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Pyres. Yeah. Why single edge? I, uh... Sometimes you just get a feeling from somebody that you... that you can trust them with something more than you can trust the average person with. Does that does that make any sense? Trust her all the way into the forest? Clearly. Hey, wait a second. How do you know about that? Uh, lean up against the wall a little bit and give him a leg. Hmm? Because I hear things. Okay. What did you hear? 
Look, you single edge, that's fine. You you do whatever you want. I mean, look, she's tepid. She needs all the help she can get right now. <gasps> Damn. It's, um, it's one of the great houses you're talking about, Brevin. Well, maybe once. Hmm. You don't want to let the uh, commandant hear you talking like that, bud. I have nothing against Tepet. Did you have to read into everything I say? No, what? What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I barely read. Read into everything you say. <laughs> Just think you can get by on your pecs, huh? <laughs> it's worked so far. I give him a little, like, um, which I can definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, boy. oh, he looks. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Look, uh, I'll just throw this out. Are we done here? Well, we're definitely done cleaning up. Are we done here? No. So I what's think, next? I think my fangmates made it very clear what their plan was in life, and I think you made it very clear to me what I had to do in order to um, be better in your eyes. The realm needs you, but it needs the thing that I see in you, not what you are right now. Hmm. And when you finally get there, you know where my bunk is. And that now he's turning and he's trying once again to leave. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. I'll just call out, sort of not too loudly. I'm just going to call out after him. The realm needs great leaders, Brevin. I'll see you there. And the he throws open the lash of the library and he walks right out. Um, back to Bracken's door. I think Pyres is just going to, like, sink down onto the ground. Uh... Uh, maybe some mid to late nineties like indie rock starts playing in his head. He's a little. He's a little. He's he's gonna. He's he's crying a little bit. I'm good. Where's my card? But he's. Uh, I he's desperately sad. need to know what song it is that you're thinking about. But I'm gonna give you a chance to think. Oh, it's Goo Goo Dolls, Iris. What was the question? <laughs> Iris. I'd no, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is my go-to. I'll think about it. I'll think about a better one. Jesus, that add that one. Ready somehow. to go. You're the closest to heaven. Or you, Sean? <laughs> or you, Sean? <laughs> Ready to go. Oh, oh no! God. I have to. I have to write some notes here. Jeez Louise. That's me, though. I'm. Uh, as you're leaving the mess hall. You see Siantel uh, starting to jog lightly back towards uh, the barracks, <laughs> towards where you are. Uh, and then you hear just a quick... I'm not actually going to whistle because yeah. that would yeah. be horrible in a mic. Yeah. Um, and she looks up and she turns off to a second. And then she just trots off. And she just runs off into one of the lecture halls for a second. Siantel hmm? did? I'd like to beetle right on over there. I'm following. Beetle. Little, little, little. And then after, after only about 10 seconds, she steps out of the lecture hall and she just looks stunned. Like, honestly, like somebody has just slugged her and that you know, a light breeze would be able to push her over at this point. I hasten my pace to get to her quicker. Me too. Oh, hey. 
What's up? What, what happened? Just happened? Oh, uh, nothing. I just <laughs> found out that I have an extra day to submit my homework because of all the stuff that's been going on. Okay, you can tell us when we're back in the barracks room. Yeah, I thought that might be wise. Yes, of course. Uh, in the barracks. The way and hand her, like, some of the food that we achieved. Uh, she takes it, but, like, there's... It's very clear that she's just like, okay, I'm holding food now, and it, yeah. it, it's the furthest thing from her mind. And then when you're back into the barracks and the doors close... Oh. I'm... I'm in... Oh. Take her food, set it down on her side table. <laughs> Nightstand, whatever. Bracken's safe. Uh, I told her that we were going to deal with Brevin. And she's gone to talk to Newman. Hmm. I didn't think that it was wise for her to go into hiding. No. So she's just talking to Nuvin, making sure that Nuvin knows that... Well, I'm not sure what she's going to tell her, but... What just happened just now in the hallway? I assume that she's just going to mention that the library got a bit messed up. That's just about it. now in the hallway? Uh, what are you talking about? You were just coming down the hallway, and you ducked into a room when someone whistled, and then you came back out. Oh, um... Uh, that was, uh, it was Seven Fingers. He, he was just asking whether I, whether I, I knew anything about Vieron. It's already starting to spread. Is that what's got you so rattled? Have you ever tried lying to Seven Fingers? I'm sure he saw right through me. You were, you weren't in there very long. Yeah, because I just said no. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on other than he was he had disappeared. I don't think he believed me. I'm sure he didn't believe me. I would like to read her intentions for this scene. Okay. I don't know if uh, get me a much, but... Uh, well, you can try. Her yep. guile is currently at five. Okay. Ooh. I think I have a charm. I do believe I do. So I'm going to use it, because I want to know. Uh, da, da, da. Ooh, great. got a charm. Spins, Ooh, got a charm. Six successes. Uh, her goal for the scene. Uh, her goal for the scene is to reassure Aresta, Flavian, and Gail Whispered that despite what's about to happen, they're going to be all right. And so she, you know, she she is still with that kind of worried look of I I can't I don't think that I could lie convincingly to Seven Fingers. I mean, we spoke to him earlier, and he sussed out half of what was going on already. So exactly. He, it's like he can reach into my mind and twist whatever he wants out of it. 
Well, if we can believe him, he was able to withstand the mental onslaught of a rather advanced anathema, so I can see him being quite powerful himself. Well, we're supposed to get a special lesson from him, aren't we? Yeah. Like, in like an hour, aren't we? <laughs> so why did he need to stop you in the hallway? Just asking me a question, Commander. It just seems like an odd action from him. Yeah, it, it seems like that. She just looks at the floor. So it's just going to eat some food. Uh, you have one less roll than you had before you started eating. <laughs> I, I have no idea what happened to it. No clue. Yep. It's no. just gone. Yep. Total mystery. Gail? Um, Gail is just like, she's not looking at Santel. She's looking at the ground near Santel. But she's thinking and she's not happy why not <laughs> yeah her mind hamsters are going berserk oh, that's exactly what's hamsters. happening I like it uh, she reaches out and she grabs a piece of paper from off what I assume is probably going to be Gail's bunk because she's the one who I assume would have paper in and around yeah uh, and she takes a quill and she sits down and she just starts to write. Plivienne, by the way, is oblivious to this and is now finally polishing off her meal now that she's <laughs> finished polishing off everyone else's. Um, what kind of class are we going to? to? Protect our minds. Are our minds so weak? Apparently against anathema they are. We could just simply learn from Arresta. Nothing moves Arresta. You're saying I'm hard-headed? You're saying yes. that thick skulled <laughs> yes. numb skull? I, d I don't know if it's numb. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, talking back to your commander, calling her dumb. I see how it is today. Fight, 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 fight. fight, fight. <laughs> Pyres walks in chanting. Fine, fine. <laughs> um, Sorry, while man. this conversation's going on, I'd like to to get up and like go and sit next to Cientel um, to see if she'll let me see what she's writing. So Cientel is writing um, in a uh, surprisingly delicate script. Uh, and she writes very simply, I have been given my orders. Ew, uh, I would like to write back. Um, what are they? Uh, by the way, she's doing this in such a way like she's not like hiding it from arrest or anything. She's, but she just doesn't want to say it out loud. Okay. Mm. I have to reveal that the House of Bells is overrun by Anathema. And I say this out loud, but that's not true. And then on the paper, just before Siontel just lets her head just fall onto the desk, that doesn't matter.
were those your old your orders the whole time? She just taps where it says I she taps the word just. No, I mean it wasn't about it wasn't only about how sinus it was about the House of Bells itself. A shrug. Somebody's making a play to destabilize the House of Bells and 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 you don't know why, you don't know who's at the head of it. We need to know. This is important. And then muttered loud enough that you can hear. Mm -hmm. It's about the vendetta. It's always been about the vendetta. Pyres. Yeah. The doors to the library open shortly after you've gone through half of Iris. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Um, gonna leap to my feet holding the broken uh, gateway board. <clears throat> Bracken walks in with her arms crossed in front of her. We were trying to return this to you. I will, um, I'll leave it on a different table. Yes, and I'm sure that it pained you so terribly that you couldn't return it. Just trying to put everything back to where it was. With a face so wet, I'd almost think that you'd been tussling with a water aspect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, like, provokes another couple tears from oh, fire. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cadet. Yes. What on earth is the matter with you? It's been, a, it's been a very big day, and I am just trying to manage all of the feelings I have about it. Manage we'll feelings? You're in a military academy. And you wish Correct. to manage your feelings? The passion that I feel towards what I love, including the realm, including battle, including defeating enemies, that is my strength. Love. So yes, I have many feelings. At your age, love comes and goes so quickly. One must always think that they are the tides. What do you mean comes and goes so quickly? And how long has your love been so ardent? I... <laughs> well, I, I'm not as uh, old as an established prince of the earth, of course. But I've known I love things ever since I knew I could. What does that mean? It means you're blubbering all over my library. No wonder the carpet soaked through. That wasn't all me, but I suppose... Yeah. You're, yeah. No, but you do have a propensity to make sure that everything gets wet. Doesn't seem particularly appropriate. Pop! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> um... <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> oh, it's great. I love it. Um, Fucking shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, well, yeah. Um, <sighs> I uh, don't feel that I should question you too much without my fang. Where is Juan? I, I don't know. Take me to her. What? Take me to Juan. I just told you I don't know where she is. And I don't believe you. I'm all for reuniting 
I'm all for reuniting people who love each other. But I don't know what to make of you, sir. I'll tell you what. And she pulls out a board. Ooh. Uh-oh. I'll spot you. Two talents. We play. Don't worry, I can't cheat. I'm not allowed. <laughs> you, you could be better than me, though. That's possible. If I win, you take me immediately to where Juin is, or where you last believed she was. And if I lose, what do you want? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Pyrus is definitely hunting a little bit in his mind for what for what he wants, hence the pause. Um, from her, I mean. I... I want to know. Love it. I'm watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yep. <laughs> I want to know everything you know about the person or people who made the wager with Vieran. I want to know what Vieran was here to do. That's what I want. Done. Ah! I'm not changing the terms. Let's do it. I go in for the go in for the handshake. All right. Roll me your oh, no. <laughs> intelligence war. Okay. I have I have some of that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm at a school for now. Yeah, okay. You have been given an advantage. Which means that you get to roll, or rather, she is going to roll two fewer dice than she normally would. Damn, why did I have to take all the, like, command charms? <laughs> Where are all my gateway charms? So, my right. yep. go ahead. Make your roll. Yep. Um, I'm spending some motes on this roll. Just to re-roll some damn sixes. What's not true for this system, Aragorn? Stort, stort, stort. Yes. Good question. Uh, um, okay, I don't know a lot about Gateway, really. I know enough that I've played, obviously. I know that she Noted. is, in this moment, um, uh, Bracken is being very measured. She's probably going to try to defeat me with logic, so uh -huh. I would like to employ a relatively aggressive tactic to try to break her ranks before she gets set in, right. in her strategy. Nice. Like, like a rush down. Dice. Yeah, I'm going to have down. this role witnessed. Yeah. Everything on your side. Let me just double check. Oh, okay. No sixes. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Yep. Successes? Four. Four successes, okay. As you play, you distinctly notice that you are completely outmatched. Uh, Surprise. But despite the fact that she is down two pieces right from the start of the, of the game, uh, her strategies are brilliant. But you are doing perhaps the best game that you've played in your life. Just like sweating bullets here. And that's when you notice that wait a second, her flag wasn't on that space a moment ago. It was on a different one. The one that you were planning on attacking. Her flag seems to have shifted without her making a move. So then 
I'll just I'll pause in my in my current move, hand above the board. I'll look up into her eyes. He said you couldn't cheat. He didn't say you wouldn't, though. It's impossible for the chosen of games to cheat. Explain that. I look down. Or I point down. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're sure, though. You're absolutely positive. This piece was not there before. We're going to have to call this a draw. A draw? No. Yeah. Finish the game. There is no draw. I can't. I can't continue playing against someone if, they, if they're not going to be honest with me. You want something, and I want something. And if this is going to ha- how it's going to have to be, then we need to reset and start again. You need to tell me everything that I need to know, Pies. You're going to take me to her no matter what. It's not my fault that you believe you're going to lose. What are you doing to the pieces on the board? She tells you. Hi, Google. I'd like to do a find and replace, please, uh, for my notes. <laughs> I mean, that does exist. Replace John but... <laughs> with fuck you. No. <laughs> no. I have to go. I cannot. We're with you. Now that I know what the orders are. It's going to put all of you in jeopardy. We're already in jeopardy. Not like this. I can't stay. Do... Is your inability to stay to protect us? Or is it for you to be able to carry out these orders? I know what the orders are. But now I also know who's giving them. And if he starts giving me orders, that means that he can tell me to do anything. Who is giving you orders? We'll find out everything we can about them. I just want to need you to say it out loud because I don't trust anything anymore, to be perfectly honest. With Bingo! You. <laughs> the more I tell you, the more danger you're going to be in. Great, tell me. Just means they have to go through me first, so let's let's do this. When I walked into the room, it was Nuvin and Seven Fingers. And one of the assistants who was always following Nuvin around showed me the paper that had my orders on them and destroyed it which means that it's one of them the assistant never saw what was written on the paper just lifted it out of the envelope showed it to me and then put it away so for all I know it could be any one of those three or all of them whoa What would the Commandant have to gain from toppling the House of Bells or from making it seem like it was overrun with anathema? She's asking this more to herself. Uh, What was that? It would destroy the Commandant's career. It would. Arguably, it would also destroy Seven Fingers. It would. So then why did they give you orders to destroy them? Because the Vendetta is more important than any of them. So then why do you care if they're they're in on the plan if I told you you know go tell everyone that I'm a murderer you like I get that you'd be conflicted about sending me to jail but like I gave you that order so they just gave you orders that would damn them they know what's going on but I don't know if that sacrifice I don't know if it's one or both of them And I know that they're not sacrificing just their own careers, but everybody, everyone here, including all of the cadets. How powerful 
would the people be that would know this? Aren't they few and far between and hidden and stuck in the shadows? Is this enough to bring them all out of the woodwork? Probably Is this enough not. to empower them all? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't want to do it. And then as she says that, like, you can see that it, it's like making her physically ill to have said that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to destroy everything here. I don't. I, I, we're so close to winning all of it. Okay, so we make a strategy. We know that it's one of the two of them. It's either Seven Fingers or it's New Ben or it's both of them. We do some digging on both and we try to figure out which one it is. And then we find a great house who would benefit most from having a traitorous member of his Elsie handed to them on a silver platter and we do that. And then what happens to me? Damn. You don't have to be involved necessarily. We can find a strategy that doesn't involve you. We can keep you protected. We just need evidence. We just need to break into some more offices. Okay. Look, um... You aren't leaving us. You aren't being a hero. You're it, stuck with us. It's it's not it's not that. I just I just never thought that I that when the moment came I wouldn't be rising to meet the call. I didn't think anything was more important than the Vendetta. And I didn't think anything would stop me from destroying... throwing my life away to try to serve the Wild Hunt. Well, with... With all of that, I guess we're all just really bad at what we're trying to do, huh? We're students. We're learning. Yeah, learning means you get to make mistakes, right? Exactly. We'll get through this. Damn. <laughs> Pyres. Yes. You know you got the answer. Yeah, I mean, do do I feel satisfied by it? <laughs> I think yes. that I think that in your mind you recognize that an answer was given, but but you well, why? How could you have had an answer that was given to you properly that you just can't remember? I look up at Bracken, uh, and I kind of just like start to step away from the gateway board. Where are you going? I'm not a sorcerer. I don't know anything about sorcery. No one said Can anything about sorcery. Come back and finish the game. You're bound to it. Am I? Yes, you are. And are you not bound to the rules of gateway always I cannot believe I absolutely cannot believe what tell me <clears throat> Pyres. You were never supposed to see the flag at all. And she lifts one of the gateway boards and 
you need to roll join battle. What? But uh, it was nice knowing you, Potters. But I'm still injured. Bye. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. You didn't even make Whoopi in the library before this happened. <laughs> what a way to go. I'm gonna get whooped in the library. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Join. Okay. You cleaned the library. Whoopi. Even. Whoopi. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to roll join battle. Well, that's uh, bad. Um, oh. Yeah, just run. I like Pramster's idea. <laughs> I, I mean, yeet yourself out the window, Pyre. Disengage. Let's go. <laughs> hey, actually, I think I have a specialty in disengaging. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's just for your clothing. Your initiative, Pyres? <laughs> yes, coming, sir. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let's do this and then... sorry, wrong button. There you go, five. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, uh, that quite. means that it is my action first. If I do not miss my guess, <laughs> that sounds about right. Very well. Uh, she takes in a very deep breath and then she screams out uh, it is a, a deafening shriek oh no okay so I am in, this is an, an, an attempt to intimidate okay um I have a, uh, I mean, I have a special, an integrity specialty against intimidation. Um, I'd also like to try, as soon as the shriek starts, I'd like to try to pull some of the heat from this, like from the nearby fireplace um, to try to cushion the air around my ears. Like it's sound waves, right? I, I don't, you know, Pyre doesn't know that, but like, I can try to sort of blanket the air around my head and try to make deafen myself a little bit briefly. Okay. Is that, how's that? Let's go. Can uh, I boost my resolve or something? Yeah, you've boosted your resolve by one. Yay. Um, so it's three. <laughs> okay, uh, so I have succeeded. You can spend willpower if you wish. Uh, this will force you to either take a movement action on your next turn to move away from her, or you must hide from her if possible. Um, can I can I spend a willpower to resist this for this turn? Yes. I will do so. Okay. Grip my teeth. And then uh, she uh, straightens herself up. And then you can tell that she's starting to uh, sing a very gentle melody. Oh, I don't know what it means. It's your action. Great. I'm going to upend the gateway board at her. Um, really? uh, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a distraction more than anything. But if I don't miss my guess, she probably values this gateway board. So I'm going to upend it and try to grab the flag piece and take it away. Okay. In the confusion. Um, I mean, yeah, that, it, it's not an attack. My action is to, to disengage. But can I, can I do those at the same time? Okay. You have successfully... Uh, so you... Okay, so you grab this, but you're attempting a disengage action? Yeah, I want to... Yeah, I want to... Uh, she... I resisted the, the, the screaming, so I want to... Um, try to disrupt her song. Sorry, John. Um, no, the, I, I'm not going to disengage. I'm going to flip the table as a distraction and uh, leap at her. Um, just to try to knock her, knock the breath out of her. Okay. So I'm going to call this a gambit. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to call this a gambit. I'm going to say that the difficulty is three. So you are going to make a decisive attack. Yeah. It will cost you three initiative if you succeed, and it will disrupt the song if you manage to succeed at that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm putting her, putting her all in here. 
Um, stunt? Sure. Two. <laughs> For flipping the table and trying to, like, yep. grab at the piece here. I feel like that's going to be useful. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. This is so ass. I mean, obviously, I'm in huge trouble. You are. <laughs> I'll spend... I think it's pretty rude that she's shrieking in a library, too. Okay. I, the irony it's is... It's right in front of the... Her defense is Fine. eight. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> I have a success from the... from the. <laughs> I just see one. I've never seen so many ones. Don't worry, you didn't botch. But that was horrifying. I got three successes. This is disgusting. This roll is disgusting. It's Round, gain thing. five. I... Uh, her song starts turning sorrowful. You can oh. tell that it's starting to pull directly at every feeling that you have of inadequacy, of your inability to woo uh, to woo Brevin, your inability to match up to your sister, your inability to command your fang. And all she is trying to do is convince you that your despair is very real. I feel things so deeply, though. <laughs> uh, she is attempting to use one of your... Uh, she's attempting to use one of your many, many, many uh, intimacies <laughs> against you. Yeah, okay. Uh, she is attempting to use against you... Uh, our deeds are what makes us worthy of respect and love. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and to imply that you are worthy of neither. Oh. If she succeeds at this, uh, this is essentially an inspire action. Um, if she succeeds at this, then uh, it will impede your will to fight or resist. Um... I am going to resist with my defining intimacy. I do believe in my heart of hearts that I am meant for what uh, meant for more than what my house intends for me. Um, okay. And I believe that that this despair, this feelings of inadequacy, are just passing. I should point out that as she is doing this, by the way, uh, yeah. she is attempting now to uh, strike you with a flurry of blows oh. at your chest in oh, various different pressure points of your body. Oh, this God. is. I should tell you that she is explicitly allowed to flurry this simple charm alongside an attack. Okay. So okay. here we go. Your defense is? Uh, I'm doing the attack first. The attack first. Okay, cool. Um, well, God, I mean, I don't really... Uh, it's a withering attack. Yeah, it is. Um, I think... Uh... uh I think rather than sort of like dodge out of the way, I'm going to stand my ground and try to absorb some of the blows uh, and parry the largest one, which will come at the end of the flurry. I love it. Okay, you get one for your defense. What is it? Uh, it is five. I don't have a lot of moats left, guys. Are you going to start burning? Five That's, successes. Well, I'm still glowing. Yeah. Five successes. Um. Yeah, well, yeah, that was five. Okay. Fuck. Uh, so so is? A, a, a six. Thanks, Chiro. <laughs> five initiative stolen from you. She gains yeah. six. Oh, now yeah. it's time. That's, oh, well, that's... It, and that crashes you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. So she gains Fires. five. Ooh, I'm going to go down. Boom. Uh, now uh, we're rolling her charisma performance. Okay. Your resolve is... Uh, with a defining intimacy. Yeah, you're supporting your defining intimacy, so that gains you four. Right. But you are also having a major intimacy, so you lose two. So your resolve is plus two, which is? Four. Resolve of four. Let's go. But do I, Pramster? One, this is the question. Two, three, four, five, Am I just re-rolling? I'm just going to re-roll a new character. at this roll, you can spend a point of willpower to resist if you wish. Or else I will feel feelings of despair and it will. Uh, she's my essentially to inspiring fight. feelings of despair. An enemy who yields to these emotions takes a minus three penalty to defense <laughs> against any Kiai attacks the martial artist makes. As long as she stunts them in a way that exploits the inspired emotions, and she'll start attacking you with her voice. 
Ooh, crying I am gonna out spend... all of your shortcomings. Yeah. <laughs> so rude. Man, I'm spending a point of willpower to resist. You are now in re- immune to this particular influence for the remainder of this scene. <laughs> okay. We're How in much trouble. willpower do you have left? Two? Doesn't seem like a whole lot now, does it? No, perhaps I can stunt and get some back. Who knows? Perhaps, uh, but it is your turn. <laughs> Sorry? It is your turn. It is my turn. Um, I need to I need to get out of here. Uh, so I think Pyres knows that there was a window that was opened before uh, yep. that leaves the library. He needs to get past this singing creature of death. So what he is going to do is he's going to... Uh, he's going to feign tears in his eyes and sort of start to like sink to his knees, pull okay. flames from the, <laughs> I'm going to keep pulling flames from this thing. So she puts it out. I'm going to set the gateway board alight in front of her and then leap through the flames out the window. Okay. So this is a combat maneuver. Correct. Uh, you are attempting which... a disengage. Yeah. I, yeah. I can never remember which is, which, I do like the yes. stunt. I'll give you two dice for it. But yeah, this is this is specifically a disengage that you're attempting. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. I mean, that I'm aware of, so... Five, seven, okay. Okay. So, you have to beat her dexterity athletics. She doesn't have many of those, though, right? I'm... Sp- Spending a point of willpower on this roll because I I am whoa no no don't okay gain you're now six. down to one willpower. I will Jesus. remind you that if you hit zero willpower, you can no longer resist if she successfully uh, threatens, inspires, all of that. And stills. Okay, you ready? This is yeah. your dexterity dodge against my dexterity athletics. Success, two successes. Dexterity dodge. Uh, uh oh, fudge. Yeah, sorry. I'm just making sure. Do I if I have a charm here? I do not. What did I think I did? Oh, dummy. Okay, I'm ready. I'm doing it. Here we go. I have rolled as well. I rolled five successes. Five successes. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Players wants to get the. And it fuck really out of sucks that I rolled six. Oh no! Why would you do that to me? Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> also, because I want to go to you instead. Oh, an asshole! I heard that too, Aragorn. It's a nasty asshole. Wait. Uh, there. <clears throat> so we have to find out who it is. <sighs> You know that they'll come for me if they discover that I'm not following the plan. One thing I can tell you, there aren't enough of us. I really doubt that there's going to be more than one. We can take on one. As long as you know who it is. They come for you, they come for you. Right. So first things first, figure out who the true giver of the orders was. Well, we're supposed to go to this class. That That's still happening. Yeah. Pyre should be back soon. Uh, Siontel bursts into tears. Uh. She's not like burying her hands. Uh, she's not sobbing, but just like She's pulling a pyres on the library floor, right? Like just. Gil. We've always meant to be together. Gil goes to like like sit next to her so that their their sides are touching. Oh. Flavienne kind of looks at Aresta, and there's this feeling of like, what do we do? We're here with you. The good, the bad, the middle. I just didn't think that you'd understand. You told us, you know, you had a 
dagger hanging over your head and that it could fall at any second. It's just everything's broken. Not us. It's like everything's made to be broken. But you know who... You know who I am. <laughs> Just a gentle punch to the face. So gentle. Right. Okay. Well, here's an idea. Seven Fingers is teaching us how to defend our minds, which means we're going to be delving into our own minds. Maybe we can turn the tables on him and delve into his mind while he's teaching us how to delve into our own. I'm sure I could figure that out in an hour. I... I am very um, impressed by your strategic ability. Perhaps we should think of a backup plan in case you cannot master such important devilish arts in the span of 45 minutes. The backup plan is I go to the washroom and search his office while I'm gone. It's <laughs> good. It's yeah. always my go-to. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it, yes. No, we use, we use this to our advantage. We learn as much as we can about solidifying our minds against prying inquiries. Not just those coming from anathema. I will we say have to remember if... Go ahead. We have to remember, of course, that if the teacher who is teaching us how to defend our minds has an agenda, then we need to be also aware that our teaching is biased, and we have to defend against that too. Well, I, I will say one thing. My secrecy is still of the utmost importance, which means that they're not going to expect that I'll do anything right away. We have some time here. Well, we're not going to be here. We're going to be on the seas. <laughs> That's another good excuse to be a little slow in getting things done. Have to keep your cover. School has shipped you off, and that was planned before all of this. You're right. But Seven Fingers is coming with us, and Nuvin will be here. Uh oh. So we can keep an eye on one, we can't keep an eye on both. You're yeah. right. I'm glad that you're here. I'm about to betray everything that I believed in. <laughs> And for you guys. You don't have to. I mean, yes, she does. We can free you of your pact. Or... Yeah, but then she's also talking about essentially destabilizing you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, know, you just have to rock her. Yeah, but I can deal with that. Because you're... I wouldn't mind. Earth <laughs> I got that. No, I... Smallest one. Yeah. What can I say? I guess I'm a sucker for people who actually care. It does have an effect. Let's get ready. The class will be starting soon. Should we go tell Pyres? He may have forgotten. I'm sure that we can just wait until he gets back. I don't want to be late for this class. We'll check in on him if he's Even if the back teacher is a traitor, I don't want to be late for this class. What? Okay. We'll check Invisible in on him back. if he's not back in time. I'm going to start researching. <laughs> I'd love to Deus Ex, you know rest of fang this but oh that's not happening yeah pyres deus uh, ex rest of that's fang. round yeah uh and i we are back it is her action first so you an attempt to leap over the board she reaches out catches you by the tunic yanks you back although that doesn't actually do you any damage uh she has prevented you from being able to flee that does cost you two initiative however and Oh, wait, uh, you can't even disengage. You're in crash. Balls. Okay, well... Okay, we'll assume that it did, but we're still going to lower you by two initiative. That's that's fair. So 
I'll let take care I'll of that. But yeah, you're yeah. in crash. You can't actually do that. Can't leave. I don't think. Can you? I, don't, I wonder about that. That's okay. Let me double check. Crash. Definitely cost. You can disengage in cash. Is just risky. Okay, okay. Then never mind. Okay. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> you just keep losing initiative. All right. Uh. Okay. Next up. She throws. <laughs> she throws everything she has, um, and she uh, lets out another massive cry. By the way, this cry you will be able to hear, but it will be very faint, and it will not be clear where it's coming from. Uh, and as she does this. All the glass, every, um, all the glass in the area shatters. The stones above tumble. The fire in the fireplace starts rolling out onto the ground, and the books start to tremble and fall over in the library. She has now created uh, an environmental hazard. Mm. Roll for limit. <laughs> <laughs> the hazard has two bashing damage and has a difficulty of six resisted with your stamina resistance so every round that you spend here in the library you have to roll six or you're going to uh, take two bashing damage just by being in this hazardous area that she's created okay yeah, rough. It's like she wants me to die. Or something. Horrible. Why would you do this? <laughs> She's so desperate. Uh, which means, first, Ouch. roll me your stamina resistance, please. Stamina resistance. I can't um, really boost this by any other means. Uh, I guess... You can spend um, a willpower to gain a success. I, I, <laughs> I could. Um, I could describe to you that, um, you know, Pyrus is once again going to at the very least, try to, uh, you know, wreath himself in the fire that's now spreading to try to um, kind of keep some of the uh, objects coming at him at bay if they're light enough. <laughs> they won't be like okay. rocks. Okay, I'll give you two dice for that. Go ahead and roll. Thanks. I will. Uh, what were, you said what, uh, diff six? It is difficulty six. I got four successes nope nope that's i'm afraid that's not gonna do it uh so the you take two dice of damage two dice okay yeah oh. i'm gonna roll it it ignores oh. soak and hardness and it's dealt directly to your health track okay i i really i, I assumed it was just two levels take and I was like, one well, bashing okay all right I Don't will update. think that affects your wound it, penalties. Weirdly enough, it does. Oh, right. I whoop! There I am. Minus two. You're now at ah. minus two. Oof. It is your action. I am going to, as calmly and gently as I can, I'm going to place my blades down on the burning table in front of me, crossed, as a sign of respect. I'm going to look up to her and offer up my hands, and I'm just going to say. I know you're right. Stop this. I know you're, and I'm just going to keep repeating, I know you're right until she stops trying to kill me. In Gateway, this is known as resigning. Let me hear you say it. I resign from this game. And she reaches down and she pulls up just some of the carpet which comes up in her hand like a rug actually I should say as opposed to a carpet and she then binds your wrists around and around and around and cinches it and ties and cinches it then you'll take me to Juin now just nod once she Take, reaches down and she rips your scabbard off 
<laughs> sheathes your diaclaves within it, tucks them into the small, like into her back, sliding it between her uniform and her skin, so that now she has your swords just concealed along the length of her back. You're to move swiftly, quietly. Anyone, anyone suspects that you are trying to raise the alarm and I will destroy you. Do you understand? Otherwise you have nothing to fear from me. Nothing at all. I, I just, just look around at the library. You. I don't say anything. I just look at the library. Well, the library is like a fucking shambles. I look back at her. I look around at the library some more and I don't say anything. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, you do notice, first of all, what's your strength? Uh, uh, I think it's three. Three. You definitely are strong enough to break these bonds. Interesting. Second is that as she turns around, you definitely could reach forward and pull your swords out of their scabbards. Okay. That's interesting. What do you do? I, uh... I just want to ask her, <laughs> I just want to ask her very softly, is this, do you think my life is a game? It's all a game, Pines. Always. The trick is whether you want to be a pawn or whether you wish to be the commander. I want I want to give you what you want so that you'll leave us alone. Repeat that, please. I want to give you what you want so that you'll leave us all alone. Then you'll come with me. Let's go. And she starts heading towards one of the windows. I'm going I'm going with her. You stay in your bonds? Yeah. Okay. Uh, by now you start hearing shouts. <laughs> as people start heading towards a library that is quickly coming up into flames. God damn it. Uh, I'd like to spend a moment to see where the hell Pyres is. Uh, Pyres, you are being carried, well not carried, but you're being <laughs> led away. And then basically she's like, take me, go quickly so we are going to go quickly all i know is where we appro not even it's like approximately where we met juin i don't know anything more than that so i'm going to take her I, into the forest i know this <laughs> but like, yeah so uh he is halfway between the library like they're taking a, a route around the outside of major buildings and they're headed towards the forest Mm-hmm. Do we go to Pyres or the library? Pyres. Cap. Yeah. I'll go to the library. Stay safe. It's all right. I'll have Siantel with me. Cap. Yeah. Both of you stay safe. And Flavienne reaches forward and then just quietly passes Siantel a handkerchief and then they both book it out Santel like quickly wiping her tear stained cheeks it's the two of you start heading towards where I sensed fires did you say we're hastening heading yeah. well hastening might also be a good word are you <laughs> yeah, choosing to move with pace. haste I assume. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on yet, so I'm probably not like full out sprinting. <laughs> so, for now. Can use this okay. Uh, so, when you get to the woods, Pyres. Right. Keep going. Where is she? I already told you, and you didn't believe me. I don't know. I'm going to take you where I think she is. You're not lying. 
Oh no, you just realized that now? I'm the honest one! <laughs> well, one of the honest ones. Well, kind of. D look, doesn't matter. It's like gestures his way out of the rug. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck shit! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what do you want with Juin? I need to know where she is. I need to find her. I know how she feels about you. Or at least, I think I do. But you've never mentioned a word about the quartermaster. I just know you have notes from her, but you probably have notes from everybody at the school. Your point? Uh, you are gaining. Can't... You can My now point. start hearing their conversation. My are you point... moving quickly or silently or In both? Something. If I once we became close enough to hear them, I would probably like put my hand on Gail's shoulder. I didn't see intimacy at all. Interestingly, you're probably right there. Yeah, that's my thought. Yep. Yeah. My uh, point I... is Bracken. Hmm. My point is Bracken. How do I know that I'm not just leading you? towards someone that you want to harm or even elevate into some sort of status as commandant of the school. Her voice, once again, takes on that sort of, like, sing songy drone underneath it. What matter is it of yours? What my intentions are? I, I'm gonna straighten myself up a little bit. It is very much my business. And why is that? She stops and then she pulls the swords in their scabbards out. I mean, it's heavy, right? Like, it's like the equivalent of carrying a backpack full of, you know, books. And she leads it against a tree. Oh no, if if he if he picks up the sword and attempts to attack her, I'm going to continue this combat. Just that wouldn't be altogether too fair. I'll let you know when the scene is over. Hmm. My name is Kathak Pyres. Yeah. The business that this is of mine is the safety of the realm. The realm? Yeah. I'm asking you to lead me to one of your precious anathema. My precious anathema? Why on earth would you mind if I was going to harm it? More than anything, Bracken. I don't know much about the exigence, or sorry, I don't think she used that word. I don't know what a chosen of games entails, but games of chance and games of skill are both games, obviously. So you play both. And then you hear, off in some distance, what are you doing? The voices start echoing through the trees. This isn't like you. You shouldn't be doing this. Is this, I, I should just add, this is still Bracken speaking it to me. It sounds like Bracken. Sounds like Bracken. But it's coming from oh, around. That's what I, ooh, ooh, mysterious. No, this is what I should be doing. I can't stand someone who is going to sit here and lecture me about what my responsibility and my duties are when I don't know what theirs are. You could serve a demon. A I don't demon. know anything about you. I'm your beloved librarian. What else do you need to know? I need to know what you're going to do with the quartermaster. 
You could have killed me when you had the chance, and I've brought you here. I'm going to destroy it. I don't think that's true. And why on earth do you not believe me? She's anathema, is she not? She doesn't deserve to be here. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yeah, I'm going to step a little closer. You seem to be in a bit of turmoil about this. Sinus Bracken. And then Bracken emerges from the woods. Uh oh. From the trees. Good job, Pest Loose. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. I can't do that. You two? Probably going to be creeping closer now. Yep. So there are two brackens. Yeah. (gasps) Where's the Spider-Man meme? Come on, (laughs) y'all. Bring it on. They're all just an asthma. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not a negotiator. This seems like something that you two need to hash out between you, I think. It's quite a predicament, isn't it? It is. I've never heard of one person who can split their physical form in two, so I can only believe that one of you has been lying to me this whole time. I look at original Bracken. So I'm going to say that there's Bracken 1, who is the Bracken who you were with, and Bracken 2 is the Bracken who showed up. How's that? Great. Great. I I, I love that. So Bracken 1 is mean Bracken. Bracken 2 is yet to be proven mean Bracken. Whispered Forest Bracken. Yeah, exactly. Whispered Forest Bracken. So looking at the first, then, I can only assume someone's been lying to me this whole time. Of course it's me. Well, her, not me. This is Bracken. Here. Bracken 2. That's me, but not me. You can't possibly believe that I would do such a thing. Ah. So there's the anathema. Wretched, you said. You understand that wretched do have the ability to disguise themselves in however form they choose. Oh no, he's seen the wretched. He knows it's not me. Um, You hear, by the way, the two of you, there's someone else in the woods with you. There is a third. I swear to God. That's uh, another Bracken. <laughs> I'm flipping the table. Oh my God. Surprise, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I want to whisper to Gail. Hello. In a way that indicates uh, Bracken 2. I think that's the one we were just talking to. The other Uh, one doesn't love Juin. You said, sorry, the other one? So the one with Pyres doesn't love Juin. Yeah. So they're fake. Uh, Gail nods. Can I start profiling character from a distance? Yes, you could. However, just before this happens, uh, the Bracken one (laughs) reaches into her pockets and she pulls out a very fine powder. Does this not chloroform to you? And then uh, holding it out in her hand and with pyres, still with a burning anima, I should point out. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, and at one point sparks and a light the entire woods flares in a massive bright white light <laughs> and then when it when your eyes readjust the two brackens are now standing slightly off from where they were before It almost seems cliche, doesn't it? 
thousands and thousands of books use the same. Except we're not twins. And we certainly aren't ready to kill anyone. But who's who? I, uh... I skipped a couple of logic classes. But I think I have an idea. Start to tur turn towards them both. And then you hear from behind you, you two. Mm -hmm. What the hell is going on? And Brevin... <laughs> I've never wanted it to be Juin so much in my I life. I know. <laughs> What's the plan? One of them's fake. Fake how? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whispering. I'd like to ignore him and start profiling character. Damn. Well, how are you profiling here? This will take you several minutes. Okay, so I've spent a lot of time around a version of Bracken. Yeah. So right now I'm going through as many interactions as I can possibly remember. I feel like I can remember a lot of them to look for consistencies, inconsistencies to see if the one I've known this whole time has been the same one. And if it is, then I'm just trying to find distinguishing features. All right, here's what I'm going to tell you. You do recognize that one of these Brackens is using supernatural means to appear to be the other. Mm -hmm. It is not clear which one it is. I should also point out that right now, uh, they're both emulating the Bracken you knew. So maybe the mean one is the one you knew. Yep. And maybe the other one is the one you knew. <clears throat> but right now, it is impossible unless you have supernatural means to determine which one is which. But you do know that this must be a supernatural disguise. Okay. Man, where's that sweet awareness five solar charm when you need it, right? You're oh. like a lighthouse beep. Yeah, that was fucking beep. great. Because yeah. lighthouses famously go beep, beep, beep. <laughs> uh, mine do. Famously make a lot of noise, yeah. I installed a backup alarm on all my charms. <laughs> what if I run <laughs> over <right>? a kid? <laughs> beep, beep. <sighs> Um, <laughs> how how close is Pyres currently to either of the Brackens? Short range. Okay. Not close, but short. Uh, so I'm gonna whisper to Gail. Whispered. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I just want to walk in there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. W uh, Commander, would you like me to uh, get to a tactical position? Yes. In case I need to okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And what do I do? S secret backup. Uh, yeah, backup. Wait for our signal. Stay hidden. Wait for our signal. Okay. And make sure nobody follows us into the woods. They're going to come after us eventually. The library has been destroyed. That's not good. For all for more <laughs> limit. <laughs> no, what a day. Books. Spring break. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to, I'm going to, yeah, give Gail a second to probably climb up a tree. Question yeah, mark. And I've got, <laughs> I, I did not mention that I took my chakram, but I feel like that would make I, a lot I of sense. I believe you, uh, unless you tell me otherwise, I believe you always have access to your weapons. Or yes. unless I tell you it would be inappropriate for you to carry your weapon, do you wish yeah. to have it or not? This would be bad. Perfect. Yes. So I'm going to climb a tree. Sweet. Tactically. And you just walk in? Uh, yeah, once I feel like she's had enough time to get up, I'm just going to. Walk in and be like, Pyrus, what the hell are you doing out here? Oh. Hello. Uh, 
stay back. It's so that you can play yourself yeah. in games. Well, that would be solitaire, would it not? No, you solitaire you don't need two players for. If we are the same person. No, you only need one set of hands. Look, I know that this is very confusing to all of us, but... Why are your arm... What, what's going on here? Oh, by the way, uh, he and the Brackens are yeah. both equidistant from the tree that currently has Hope and Abandon leaning against them. Okay. Classic. It's all right, Commander. I was um, taken against my will, but we've reestablished a baseline relationship, the Brackens and myself. Let me know if I can trust you. What are your intentions towards the realm? Do you believe in protecting this anathema? What are your intentions towards the library? And both of them go, what happened to the library? One of you knows very, very well. And I want to find out which one. Commander, will you let me take just a brief moment to play a game? Of course. Right. We can play a game. I'm always ready for a game. So am I. How, <laughs> how useful. What shall we play? I tell them. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Holy> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Be great. Um, uh, I, I, I wouldn't know the appropriate name here, but I'm going to, I'm going to suggest a like, uh, well, I'm going to suggest essentially, uh, a, a game of, a game of chance, a game of some skill. If you have skill in reading minds, I'm going to suggest rock, paper, scissors, stone, slash, paper, knife. Right. Exactly. Scissor, paper, knife. Exactly. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Stone is obviously the best choice. I don't understand. Why play this game? <laughs> <laughs> what do? <laughs> what do? Um, and I'll, I'll slowly... Actually, you know what we'll do? Yeah. We'll, we're going to call it Fire, Air, Earth. Nice. You Take love that to water. see it. Yeah, uh, suck it, water. Brevin just starts crying. Just off stone, time. paper, knife is fine. No, Fire, Air, Earth. Uh, fire consumes the air. Ooh. Air blows over the stone. Stone smothers the fire. Sure. <laughs> okay, I like it. Okay, so I, I propose a game of fire, earth, air to both of them. So earth is this, yeah. air is this, and fire is... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a rejection. Apologies to Europe. <laughs> I want to make it. I want to make it sporting. So I'll ask that you both turn away while we're playing. Well, one at a time. I'll play you one at a time. Very well. But no funny business. No and funny business. To the left turns around. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh yes, of course. We no longer know which is which. Okay. Can I describe my intention? Yeah. For this game. Yeah. This is what I want. And I'm happy to play it out. My intention for the game, John, for both of them, and which is why I don't want them looking. My intention is to attempt to cheat. So start one symbol and then switch to another. Okay. So, you know, fire to earth. Or sorry, what is this? Air? Yeah, it's air. Yeah. And then I want to read both of their intentions, and I'm looking for intimacies towards winning and losing. Okay. That's what I, that's what I want to do. In your first game, once you do this and then you I guess like ah, it turns into yeah, fire basically. all along. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh just like even though it's in a darkened wood, just visibly her face grows quite dire and agitated. And then you can feel just like a closing 
of force around your fist and your fire just pushes itself right back into stone <clears throat> or earth. You shouldn't have done that. Just a game. Just a game. You said it was a game and you cheated. I don't remember there being any rules around cheating. There are always rules around cheating. I think you should have established those. It's inherent to the game. Okay, so so definitely read intentions then on, okay. on this one before I even bother with okay, the other one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, her yeah, dial yeah. is four. Like fucking a billion or whatever, yeah. I, well, yo, wait, can I even do anything You're also here? welcome uh, to make this roll if you wish. Uh, uh, no, I'd like to be like, okay, I won't cheat. And I wanted to go straight to her. To the same one? The same one. Okay. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Uh, like, whatever. I, I, I don't even have... Yeah, like, I just do a standard throw. Okay. <laughs> but she, she just does it. She responds to my request. Instantly. Okay. Right, because she can't resist, right? That's yep. the, assuming that's it's the assuming here. it's the one. So she it's told two. Us the truth. It is exactly. two uh, extra dice for you, by the way, Pyrus. Thanks, bud. I'm gonna spend four motes if it happens to be um, an intimacy that is like emotion based. Which, yep. I don't know, but whatever, it'll penalize her guile. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't happen to say like one? Did you? No. I, no. no. I got one success. <laughs> It's not clear, but she plays instantly with you. Shall we uh, have you turn your back and finish this? Yeah. So you do the other, same thing? Yeah, I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to, tr you know, I'm going to try to be a bit more, um, like, clever this time. Okay. This same time, one. when you do it... Uh, You thought you'd cheat again, but this time your hand doesn't have the same feeling around it. I won't cheat. The game is with him. I'd I'll like see. to look at Pyrus, like, in the eyes. Mm-hmm. I understand. All right. You can both be facing us now. They both turn to face you. So what was the point of this, Pyrus? The point of this was to determine which one of them has been lying through their teeth the whole time, uh, which one is taking the form of the other. Uh, although I think more importantly, we have to ask ourselves why these people are abusing poor students like ourselves at all. It's in the very nature of a military academy to abuse the students, to mold them, break them down, bring them up. And yet that's not why you're here, is it? Bracken, Sinus Bracken. I address the first, the one that we played first, by that name. Yeah. What, what do you mean? I don't know, what do I mean? Sorry. Oh, hi, sorry. <laughs> well, did you find out what you needed to know? Yeah, I did. And I think this little charade's gone on long enough. You can reveal yourself now. Big talk. Big talk. Yeah, that's what I do best. Um... I'm going to just slowly start to walk towards Hope and Abandon, which are yep. leading up against the tree. I'm going to move to stand between Pyres and the Brackens. Pyres and the Brackens. You clearly know which one of us is the one you need to... Well, I suppose trust would be too big a word, wouldn't it? And so why don't you reveal yourself? So, I still yeah, like I, looking between the two of them. 
Yeah, I well, I I turn to the to the second to the second one, having made up my mind anyway. I don't know if that's like necessarily okay. true. I know that this is just a form. If it's to protect yourself from her, I get it. She's dangerous. I don't know what she wants. And if it is you that she wants, I would be very, very worried for your safety. Just watch yourself. Make sure to plug your ears the next time. And the second one takes two steps back. And then there's only one Bracken. <gasps> Perhaps there was always only one Bracken. Perhaps? And I think we'll end the session. There. I don't I don't know about y'all. I don't think I've done this so many times in a game <laughs> in like months. I, oh. <laughs> we're never getting on the <laughs> We're never beach, getting to the we? beach. <laughs> That's okay. Episode 20 will be on the beach. Nothing bad ever happens on episode 20. Exactly. Nothing bad ever happens on episode 20. Or on the beach. So, it's yeah. a perfect place. Oh my god. I guess I have to write this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the overtime, folks. Oh, no. Thanks for not... joining us. You were Staying talking with to us. Me. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Kate. It's fine. I love it. <laughs> Sorry. You're stuck here, Scott. <laughs> if you it's like true. it or not. It's true. That hype train really, uh, you know, doesn't, doesn't let off between stops. <gasps> choo choo. <laughs> <clears throat> I yeah. wonder what the episode title will be for the beach episode. Actually, I know what the episode title for the beach episode is going to be. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Phew! Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, Elizabeth, I am forced to ask what you learned today. Um, I learned that House of Celsi wants to dismantle the House of Bells even though members of the house could be high-ranking House of Bells people. Yeah, the Vendetta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Learning. I learned not to spill my wine all over everything. Uh, uh, that's fair. <laughs> I mean... Of course. You know... Why why have one anathema when you can have three or five or a thousand? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. And for everybody. Yeah. Maybe we are overrun Scott. by anathema. I know I'm starting to think let's just let uh, I well, I get yeah, I mean two things. One, um uh, resources are precious, motes and willpower. If you have any way of getting them back, you know, you you do that thing. Um I think more importantly, I learned that uh Bracken is very dangerous and what i didn't learn is why like she seems to be very dedicated to the idea of finding juin but you know i don't know why so but yeah i learned that she's super dangerous but which bracket it's like which bracket i learned i learned that sometimes when somebody botches the only thing that you decide to do at that point is to just berate them for 20 minutes, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I should probably throw up one of these, as I always do. Importante. All right, Elizabeth, uh, a play that you enjoyed. Fuck like this. <gasps> Easy town. Uh, uh, I, um, I really loved Pyres' um, interaction with Brevin in the library when they were cleaning up. I really thought that after he berated you and was like very rude to you, that you would just let him go and I, then stew. And then you didn't, you I did not know. let him leave. You wanted, you really wanted to keep telling, like telling him what's what. I can't I appreciated that. lose you couldn't to that kid. Go. I can't lose to him. Yeah. Scott? Um, I, 
I mean, I think like in the fight, especially, but also more generally throughout the episode, but like specifically in the fight, Kate, you demonstrated like Aresta's um, sort of, hey, 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 cats, her, sorry, uh, her like need to be unmovable. You know, more than anything, I think it's becoming clear to me that like, you know, Aresta has skills and talents and power and dexterity, but like at the end of the day, she's going to believe what she believes and not budge on that and uh that was really on on display today yeah gail sitting next to the confused little see and tell all conflicted so good just I, like gail's way of dealing with something that i think she doesn't have much experience with like thumbs up good job mm -hmm. and also i can make i can i'll just learn this in 45 minutes <laughs> so <laughs> like, good <laughs> I'll just go to the library and do, read some books. It'll be what fine, books? right? Oh wait, there is no library. Everything anymore. there is to know about mind control. Yeah, jeez, Louise. <laughs> well then, that was game. Mm, was <laughs> Yay! Game. It sure was. There was a game. Joy. Yeah, was there? You played it. Ooh. It happened. You will not remember. Well, there must be some other things that we can look forward to throughout the week, right? Yeah, usually on Tuesday evenings, there's uh, something pretty cool going on. I have like eight people living rent-free in my head, and only some of them are played by me. Uh, <laughs> most of them are played by people on this channel. On Tuesday night at 1800, <laughs> uh, Sergey will continue uh, exploring the outer worlds. Um, he's finally gotten off that damn rock, uh, and he's ready to meet some new friends, probably specific, specifically some uh, familiar voices, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's been a blast so far. Come and watch the proletariat revolution. Nice. <laughs> That's Tuesday night at 1800 at twitch.tv slash Biff the Boss. Wednesday. Uh, I am such a total scrub at this point. Aww. I have lost several in a row at this point, but always by like the thinnest of margins. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that there's currently some ideas as to what the next one's going to be. That Mario Kart has been floated. <laughs> Um, as as the oh, next scrub part. check, uh, chess has been floated <laughs> as the next scrub check. Uh, we'll see uh, because I'm neither particularly skilled in either Mario Kart or chess, but maybe that doesn't matter. Um, then on Thursday we'll be here on this channel with Clinic Hours. I don't know if we have a topic for Clinic Hours this yeah, time around. Details to be confirmed. If you have ideas, throw them in the Discord. Friday. Friday is more Punch Club. Will we ever finish? Will we ever defeat those robots? Probably uh, Actually, not. you know what? It went a lot better last time. Sorry. It did go a lot better last All time. All punch, no defense. All punch, All no, punch defense. no defense. Now yeah. we've uh, graduated to real punching. That's right. Uh, Saturday is going to be the rewatch of this episode at 11 a.m. And then at, uh, at 3 on my channel, we have more Drew Crew. Shadow Ranch, the ghost horse, has made an appearance. And uh, I often stream on Saturday nights. I just want to flag for people I won't be because I'm going to be participating in a charity stream, actually, a role-playing one-shot. Uh, Super Dylan is hosting two charity role-playing streams over on twitch.tv slash Super Dylan, back-to-back. -back. Uh, I'll be on at 20 hundred hours 8 p.m eastern uh we're playing roll for shoes which if you recall we've played once on this channel as well yeah. as a one shot uh i don't know what to expect other than meeting some new friends i and imagine, get so. many shoes and many shoes presumably we'll see with my dice luck i don't have nothing to do with what the game is <laughs> uh but then on sunday it's right here 6 p.m eastern daylight time for episode 17 who knows what a title it will be. I can't take any more scares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to thank She Who Knows 10,000 Things for still Woo! being here. We had a hype train yes. at the beginning of this episode uh, where I'm sure that Aragorn uh, not only participated, but so many others did as well. Uh, I, I have to thank all of you. I mean... How cool was that? But honestly, whether you can subscribe or gift subscriptions or donate bits or even just tell people about us, mention us every once in a while somewhere else, let people know that uh, this is a community worth visiting, that's all we can ask for. And 
all we would love to see. So thank you. Your support helps us uh, with our tech, with our being able to maintain this stream and, and bring it forward and, and improve it. Watch one of our first ones. You'll see there's been a big <laughs> shift. Uh, what do you mean? But uh, mostly it's, it's just very important for us uh, that you're here. We really appreciate it. Whether you're here live or not, um, we do appreciate it there. And yes, absolutely, the raid. Uh, Thank you for the raid. Yes. Very appreciated as well for, for the raid, Luke. That is uh, that is very, very appreciated as well. Uh, and of course, I have to appreciate my players. I know that you had a rough day with uh, wine knocking oh, well. and, and a dye yeah. that has evaporated. It'll appear someday. Maybe. It, it may have just gone to Narnia. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Downstairs <laughs> neighbors were like... <laughs> the fuck is this? What the <laughs> hell was that? Yeah. Um, and of course we have to thank our storyteller for tonight. Speaking. For tonight. I don't for think you should be thanking for me for always. tonight. For tonight? I fucked yeah, with John, you. Yeah, John, you um, passed this day. <laughs> either way, thanks so much. Just don't forget, if you can get vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you can't get vaccinated, but you want to be safe, get other people vaccinated. Yep. And above all, just remember that we are slowly but surely crawling out of this this way see you next time bye bye, bye. bye.